is no, our gas here is four sixty. That's like a whole dollar more than here. Yeah. yeah I, I thought we had it bad. No, Connecticut I know it, sucks in every single thing. Joseph's you in California, it, it's, it's like uh, gas is like eight bucks or something. Yeah, but they can't, yeah. their cost of living is is much. Different. Everything costs more over there. Alrighty. Connecticut is like one of the highest states taxed, second to like Hawaii. It's from Ohio. Right. I wonder, what, I wonder what the prices are like in Alaska right now. Probably really good. Like, let's put it this way: Connecticut's. You, you, <laughs> it's considered a luxury to have a car in Connecticut, so you get taxed for having even one car. Like a lot of places, it's like one or two cars. And you don't get taxed on them. Anything above that, it's luxury that you have that many. Connecticut's like you own a motor vehicle, that's a luxury, so we're taxing you on it. Not to mention car tax, property tax. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Taxes. I love taxes. I'm moving west. I still have to do my taxes. I keep forgetting. Damn. That shit's coming up fast. Yeah. <clears throat> Kyle, I'm moving in with you, buddy. Uh, I mean, I would love it, but we don't have enough room. No, we'll make room. This we'll will be the first room. year that I'm doing my own taxes, which is why I keep forgetting, because normally my mom takes care of it. It's the first time I've ever had to do it myself, so I keep forgetting. Mm -hmm. that's, that's another great thing about taxes. Government's like, hey, you owe us money. Okay, you can go. you tell us how much? Nope, you got to figure it out. And if you F it up, we're going to arrest you. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm just lazy. I've been staring on W two for like a month and a half. Bro, same. <laughs> just yeah, sitting on a table, staring at me. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I've got two of them. I gotta do, or two W twos. I gotta look at. Oh shit! Easy I gotta figure out if I need to lemon squeezy stuff. <laughs> hey, that is not that. okay. Cut it out. Two uh, K. You need to speak up a little bit, Eric. Yeah, you're, you're very quiet. Talking to myself. <laughs> you must be because you are very you quiet. Your dog is going to give me I, an aneurysm. I have you all the way up, sir. I can't, I can't turn you up any louder. Sit down. Figure it out. Turn you up to 11. You're quiet. Eric, take, take, take the voice box thing and bring it closer to your face. You quit slouching back in that chair, you slacker. <laughs> He's in his comfortable DM position. Yeah. Quit mumbling. And I always sits on my laptop, or not my laptop, my keyboard. What you need to do is with, tie three strings on your ceiling and dangle the mic down right in front of you. Yeah, that would help. That works. But, are we ready for tonight? Nope. Speaking of butts, Lori, what's going on? <laughs> What do you mean? That was, that was a good segue. I just had to say. Notice you're letting the hair grow in. Looks nice. Me? Yeah. No. You don't, have, you don't have the shiny bald head anymore. It's just because I've been working a lot and haven't had enough time to actually shave it. Uh uh. It does not look good. <laughs> I think you better look for everybody. Always. Yes. yes Much Eric. better. Okay. Now I can mumble in fucking peace. <laughs> <laughs> Cease your incessant mumbling. Now we're going to hear you mumble that we're all assholes. Why would I mumble that? <laughs> why, would he mumble, why would he mumble that when he could just kill our characters off? Hi, Prather. How's Eric, it going, ask, sir? What is that jaguar-looking thing you got hanging out of your hamper? Oh, it's a blanket. That's his That's his OnlyFans costume. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. And John, no, it's because he's the only subscriber? Not only. One of two. Eric's Mr. Meowmers dot OnlyFans dot com is really kicking off. Yeah, poor Jazzy. Oh, you're gonna. How you doing, sir? Jazzy now. His OnlyFans Meow. name would definitely be Jazzy's Daddy. No. Oh, I thought she put. I thought he put the blanket on top of Jazzy, like over her. Well, head. he did, but he had to tuck her in. Come on now. Tucking her in. Does that cat ever leave your room? I don't think so. That's I awesome. Look who she is. Mm. I can see her eyes. It's like my death glare. It's like in college, my roommate's cat, uh, Khaleesi, 
you guys might remember. She uh, pretty much stayed on the top floor, just went back and forth uh, from my room to Rachel's room. Uh, she she spent the night with me because I was always. I miss you too, buddy. You know, the time she was being there. covered up like that. Oh, there she goes. Yeah, she's like just yeah, this is about to get ready for another play. session of Pathfinder, the good she version of the one. game. That's tough. She's got that foop. Oh! Yeah, she does. Ah! She's so long. And she right, doesn't even give a shit. All right. So, wow, I keep act pretending I'm the DM. Well, wow. yeah, you do. I was about to say, you keep trying That's to get our Monday. attention like you're in charge here. It's well, I, I want to cut it out. I want to help Eric because I want to play the game. Yeah. I know it's been, it feels like it's been forever. I threw, I threw my back out for this. You don't want to go outside? Okay. Let's see. Oh, Kyle, no one asks what you do as your side hustle. That's all you. I was uh, the jungle gym for the children yesterday, and they were cl literally climbing on me. And at one point, I just felt like a guitar string pop in my back. And Can ever we since then, order that you can't be within five hundred feet of a school. No. Oh. No. Yeah, you do, buddy. Here it is. It just came in the mail. <laughs> oh, <laughs> why you came over here? No, no, no. Yeah, to find out where you moved feet. to. <laughs> He keeps showing the shorter. children his toes. That's why he lived all the way out there in Lincoln's. And... But they, <laughs> but they taste so good. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Guys, it's am I the, not five hundred? Am I the only one that eats children around here? Hey man, well, we're that move. better. Mm. Yeah, we're not all from this here. Aww. Oh. You know what? It's been a while. Let's go ahead and join the camera club. Ooh. Oh, we get Michael tonight. Nice. What? Leaving for Oklahoma <laughs> <outside>. tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> He's been waiting on that motherfucker to open the door for forever. <laughs> yeah, it's still daytime here in Georgia. It's weird. He's had so much time out there that he just set up a desk in his computer. He'll, he'll be here one day. <laughs> the family next door said he's on vacation. <laughs> he said, I, I'm moving in until you come back. He's essentially squatting. Vault tech calling. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've got the shirt on, too, for it. I'm in space with mushrooms. That, that bodes well. Oh. What a quinky dink. I'm in my house with cats. I take more. I take I take mushrooms. I eat I those mushrooms. I my so desperately. But you can't. You're, too big. You're going back to Georgia? Isn't Fort right. Stewart like on the coast? Are we good to go, Kyle? Yeah, I'm live. Oh, solid. We've been good. Mm hmm. All right. Hi. Holy <laughs> shit. Welcome back, everyone. It feels like it's been forever. It's, Yo. It's, it's, before. it's only been uh, two weeks? A week? It's been a week. Yeah, two weeks. <laughs> yeah, but so the coast. That, we had like three weeks off. Yeah. Mm hmm. So, man. Yeah, hopefully the uh, delays are, are done with. Fingers crossed. Tell that to your other campaign. <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll uh, talk about that on Sunday. Tomorrow. Anyway. Yo. We gotta deal with, with this one first. Yeah, someone's gonna die tonight, you said. Well, before that happens, someone has to recap what happened last session. We, uh, we'll make it short and sweet. We traveled further down into the basement trying to follow or find the that wretched lady that's on her way to try to kill um, uh, Aldrin. 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 Aldrin, yeah. Um, Aldrin and as we've gone down, uh, we've discovered more layers of Rats. creepy things, including rat swarms. Um, and there was another room that dealt with necromancy and whatnot, leading to uh, some, some scary situations that we're probably going to see soon. And we're traveling down further, and that's kind of where we left off. Yeah, recap, uh, killed yard. Rats. Lots and lots of rats. Uh, necromancy stuff. Possible lich. 
Yeah. Possible yeah. lich, and then... Saw the conclusion to a three-story tall stained glass... <laughs> Window. Mm-hmm. mark. I vaguely remember you guys trying to figure out how someone's going to build this. Yeah, I'm just the, the, the artist, just like, uh... This is kind of fucked up, bro. Are you so, okay? Let me get this straight. <laughs> you're, you're, you want to drink poison in this and then look like you're also okay mm -hmm. and you're paying in advance maybe okay. it was self-made <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe aldern's really or not aldern maybe uh aldern's dad was really good at glass work so they're undead and glass workers it's a difference well you know there is a glass works nearby in Sandman. maybe they're the ones yeah. that made it we're bringing it all together guys we're bringing it all together you think new Ollie we... was commissioned to paint to, to create that we are detectives the game's or, or afoot. You, or do you think it was um, what was her name, Amari? No, no, the, no, the, no. The innkeeper. What's her name again? Amiko. Maybe it was Amiko's brother. Amiko's yeah, brother made this. Suto. Suto. I'm. Mean, well, it's we'll, been a very long time since I've had to we'll, remember those names. We'll find out soon enough as we travel down the spiraling staircase. You know, the reason he, uh, Ryra has to write everything down is because she's a terrible memory. Ah, uh, like a bad thing for a wizard. Like a flash, real bright, real short. Listen, there's a reason she's not a sorcerer. <laughs> she she needs to write down her spells, or she'll forget them. Well, <laughs> if she wrote down stuff, she would have remembered to show up, and Dalton wouldn't have died. But you know, we won't get into that. Oh, so much shade! Wow. All right, canonically, she was there. Yeah. So you're just saying canonically, she did zero. <laughs> yeah, just he posed in the corner. <laughs> She was scared. There's a wall licker. <laughs> oh, you guys also forgot to mention the bird cages. Yeah, I was actually just about to bring that up because that also gave us a new like direction. Um, yeah, it's there was a placard on it that said, uh, "Was it Pug? Eug contraptions in, in Mag Magnamar? Plural Pugs. Pugs." Pugs, pugs, pugs. And you know some people that were from Magnamar. Yeah, we do. Wait, who? Well, one is deceased. Ah, I may ha may or may not have a spell that I can talk to him again. Oh God, that would be interesting. Glory. <laughs> yeah, pull out some necromancy shit right in front of Ryra. <laughs> necromancy. <laughs> That'd be interesting to RP. Okay, so we're ready. Eric, give us your worst. No. Bend me over, Daddy. Best. What? Kill Ryra. Kill me if you I can. mean, no. Well, if you cut me down, I'll come back stronger than you ever imagined, Eric. Yeah, yeah, you're a fucking Hydra. Your last character survived. Hell uh, Hydra? Because you had to drop out of the campaign for like a couple months. <laughs> Sorry, character before last. Yo. Convenient. No. When we right. last left off, you guys had made your way through the basement of Foxglove Manor, um, breaking your way into a room that had been dug out. Uh, this ruined, ancient set of stone spiral stairs descending into the darkness. Um, along with several pieces of um, equipment typically used in mining scattered around the room. And, uh, Hira, you you noticed hmm. something, didn't you? Ryra. Who? Hira? Oh, <laughs> you noticed yeah. something, didn't you? Maybe, if you remember. I don't remember. Some words were said. I think Kyle wrote him down. Let's see. <laughs> weren't, the, for weren't, the weren't, weren't like the pickaxes like freshly used or whatever? No, nah, not fresh. They're not freshly used, but they were like beyond used. Ah, it was uh it was uh for you. As soon as uh, Ryra steps foot on these stone stairs, you had this vision of Aldern, sweaty, filthy, and 
wide-eyed, digging away at the stone floor with a pickaxe. With each swing, he lets out those two words. For you. Shouldn't have. Really? Did he look like he was, like, possessed? No. Like, just... He just was really... Listen, you know? didn't you didn't see this. I did. I was asking you. I know. I a uh, She's no. not done yet. <laughs> oh, I'm not? No. I left you off on a cliffhanger. <clears throat> so, obviously, to you, you know Aldern is speaking of you. And as your vision starts to fade and you come back into reality, Aldern breaks through into the room beyond. And you can hear this shrieking sound as decayed, rotting hands reach through the blackness, rise up through the darkness, and grab Aldern and pull him in. Uh, Ryra's hands fly to her head and she jerks back against the wall and kind of slides back uh, against the wall, sliding to the ground with her hands around her head. And she kind of makes like a, kind of like a little scream. As you're screaming, these lambent eyes in the darkness turn to you. To everyone else, Ryra's just screaming and kind of like, backing away freaking out yeah she's like backed against the wall with her hands around her head kind of screaming maybe crying a little i'm gonna reach up and I need you to make a little save oh shit <laughs> oh no uh, mm -mm -mm. what a way to start wonderful start to the to the session <laughs> all right will is my best save too <laughs> so as you back away from these these eyes in the darkness um you feel one hand grab onto you and then another and another bony claws ripping at your flesh and uh, she starts really she's like like writhing around like struggling mm -hmm. uh her hands flying out so yep. if anybody's trying to help her they're getting slapped right now and clawed at uh yeah that would be me well, <laughs> ah, stop it! Stop it! Company, as you guys watch Ryra thrash around on her own volition, she's also being pulled around just through the air. Like she's being shaken around by some kind of mob. Like that girl in Jaws. Kind just of. Get, get yanked it's all like over the place. It's like when Motocar was dancing with nobody. <laughs> uh, Except violently. Yeah, this is a lot more violent. Now, what's more alarming is that everyone besides Ryra, you're staring at her. You're seeing these deep gashes show up on her body, tearing through the robe. And to you, Ryra, you are being thrown around by a pack of ghouls biting and tearing at your flesh. I need you uh, to make a fortitude save. Is there anything that the rest of us can do? Not good. But Not help. necessarily. You guys have literally never seen anybody more uh, freaking out like a fucking mad person. Just screaming. Yeah, she's literally screaming, crying. Like, her throat is raw from all the screaming. Ew. Okay. This is literally her worst nightmare. I can't believe you're doing this to her. <laughs> well, good news is, you succeed your fortitude save. Bad news is, as these ghouls rip and tear into your, your skin, you take nine points of damage. And all of a it's sudden, you're just flailing around. Uh, she <laughs> keeps flailing around for a good solid 10 seconds, even after the vision disappears. And before she kind of s slowly stops and she's just heaving against the corner, sobbing. Yeah, and I, I would like to say that uh, Lori was like trying to get her to hold or to hold her hands down and like shake some sense into her. Agner's got a bomb in his hand and he's like <laughs> moving back and forth. Like, Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? 
all confused, thinking that something's attacking. <coughs> hmm. Well. It's over. Uh, Ryra? Are you okay? She's shaking her head, just sobbing. Crying. Ban bananas? But bananas. She nods her, she nods her head. <laughs> Telling her the she word does not help. All marks. <laughs> I'm in zone. Like and like bleeding through her her, her robes and everything. Mm. Oh, honey, that that's not good. That's gonna stain. Um, you want? Do you have a potion on you? I think you should t take a potion. Uh, she tries to reach into her bag, but her hands are shaking too badly. Okay. Um, then I'll, uh, pull the, uh, wand of cure light wounds off my side and, uh, say a few little, uh, divine words and, uh, tap her with it. Bippity-boppity. <laughs> Bippity-boppity bitch. <laughs> Bippity-boppity. Man, that's mean. <laughs> Bippity-boppity heal this bitch. So that's going to be a d8, and that is a 4 plus 1, so 5. You see that? It's like, Rara, I don't, like, this may be able to heal those bite wounds, which you somehow came out with, but it's not going to do anything for the crazies. <laughs> Um, Ryra takes quite a bit of time to get a hold of herself. Uh, and she's still shaking violently. Um. I know you just went through an ordeal, but I think we need to press on. She shakes her head. Do, does In any... what direction? No, she shakes right. her head no. Like, I can't do this. Does anyone have any alcohol? Because I think we need to get her drunk if we're going to start pushing her <laughs> further. You actually, want a, you want a drunk wizard whipping around fireballs down there with you? <laughs> actually, I'm glad you asked. Agner holds up one of the bottles of wine that he got in that secret <laughs> package. Yeah, um, mm? Agnel, do you have a do you have a a coke puller? He's gonna put it put it oh, in his Ryder, mouth and just go and pop it open because it's all gross and dusty. Why we're oh. <laughs> snatching it out of his hands and just starts chugging it. That was a that was a very expensive bottle of wine. He's going to kind of look dis distraught. <laughs> uh, after Ag you get Agnor, like... Agnor, she probably needs it to calm her nerves right now. Drunk or not, she needs it. No, I, I get it. Just 120 gold a pop. But yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> going to start like kicking a stone on the ground. Just like... <laughs> Very expensive confidence booster. After this, you, you're the one who whipped it out. <laughs> I, I, what is going to give you a small glass or something? Not the whole bottle. It's fine. No, feel better. No, I'll I'll pull it away when she gets down to like you know a third of the bottle, and I'll just like <laughs> I'll take a sip of it and like, what's it taste like, Eric? Oh, it's dry. Ah, yeah. Now I need some water. As Odie, you want to try this? It's just it's just dust. <laughs> yeah, Ryra, Ryra's, Ryra's making a face after that. Like, it didn't Whoa. taste very good, but she looks uh, slightly flushed and a little less shaky. No, it shaky. tastes great. It's just a drier wine, that's all. No, TV, she's you want a fan, sip? She, she's not a fan of dry wine. She likes the fruity shit. Well. He wants some wine. No, I don't think he does either. I keep it... I, Jackie? No, I'm, I'm fine. Oh, well. I, I'll have some tea when we leave. I'll take another swig and then hand it back over to Agnor. No, might as well finish it. I don't think uh, we could sell a half-drank bottle of wine. Um, Enough drinking on the job. Damn, what kind of adventurers are we? Um, the fun Ryan, kind? As we start to move forward, Ryra's going to grip Lori's hand. She needs, she, need, she needs a little help being pulled forward. I'll, I'll squeeze it back. Don't break the girl. Um, <laughs> and only uh, one minute per level. I don't think you guys yeah. understand that she has a deathly fear of undead things. So, um, 
Agnar's gonna birds. Agnar's gonna start <laughs> mixing something, and he's gonna give uh, Ryra a vial, and I'll be like, um, when we get into this next fight that I'm sure will be coming up, swig this, and it will uh, will make you feel a little bit better. And it's she... actually a vial of Fox's cunning, which will boost your int, your int paste, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Huh. Okay. So plus four to the AC. AC? What are you talking or, about? Sorry. DCs. Uh, since it does Let's affect your, your DCs, plus two. Nice. Okay. Sorry, she chugged a, a big bottle of wine on an empty stomach, so I was trying to see if she would throw up. Mm. She she holds it in. She looks pale though. She always looks be pale. Careful with rolling for stuff like yeah, that. I was about to say you're, you're volunteering rolls. <laughs> I just like to add the flavor. No, uh, yeah, you'll have the flavor as you're licking up the blood off the the floor. <laughs> you're like, oh, not one. And Eric's like, great, you uh, throw up your lungs and. <laughs> 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 just, saying. just just be careful with Eric. Kyle, I could see maybe. But Eric, I feel like he's just waiting for a bad roll. <laughs> so malicious. Yeah. He is still Gravedigger DM. Just just keep that in mind. Yeah, you can't it. kill me, God. Hmm. Well, I'll challenge. I'll, uh... We're level we're level 6, so that lasts for 6 minutes. But I wouldn't do it now because it will probably take longer than six minutes. I'll uh, start le leading uh, Ryra down, um, slowly down the stairs. All right. So let's take a look at the marching order. Unless I think it was Motocar going first, but if mm -hmm. Lori and Ryra want to go ahead. That's it. You really want to blow past me? You can. No, I'll just, I was just going down just to be like behind you. All right. Yeah, I wouldn't, you know, shove you out the way. You know that. Mm, I might know that. So Jekno bringing up the rear, then me, then Ryra, then Lori, then Modi. Mm-hmm. Why am I at the rear? So you can do triple backflips over the rest of us and get into the fight. Uh... Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. You're probably one of the most mobile people we have. Do a flip. Yeah. I'll oh. just place you all down okay. here. Ah. In case right. one of them grabbers, grabbers come grabbing from behind to snatch someone away. The grabbiest grabbers. Got it. Grabby Grabberson. It would be everybody. All right. So you guys have to scroll down a wee bit. Yes. Now, as you begin walking down these stone stairs, you're descending, give or take, 90 feet into the depths. Uh, the walls here are covered in uh, slime. You would assume just damp mold. They're just kind of congealed together. Uh, but... As you continue down the stairs, they end in a limestone cavern. The walls here droop with moisture, and swaths of black and dark blue mold grow in these spiraling, tangled patterns on the floor, the ceiling, and the walls. You can see that rubble and broken bones clutter the floor, uh, and there is a rhythmic sound, like the breathing of some large creature echoing uh, through the cave. Ryra's gonna oh, down oh, one oh. of her potion of cure light wounds to seal up the rest of her wounds. Okay. Now that sound again echoes through the cave from what at least Motokar can see as he makes it to the, the bottom. Three tunnels. One to the north, Two to the west. Uh, and just, Motocar, since you're down there, as you take a look around, 
of the two western tunnels, the southernmost seems to be a relatively new creation. And for Agnor, I believe Motokar and Jekno are both carrying sources of light. I could also cast Dancing Light. Yes. I would still what have you... that lit torch. Mm -hmm. Um, is now the time I drink that potion Ignor gave me? It lasts for six minutes. I don't know how close does can we maybe tell how close that breathing is? Like I know you said it was echoing, but like it's not breathing. It's reminiscent of breathing. Oh, oh, oh. Like a heaving? Like... <sighs> yeah. Is the whole cave groaning? That's what it sounds like. It just seems to echo through. It could be a, a lich. Don't say that. I think we're just standing inside of a living cave. Mm -hmm. Does it look like the walls are moving? What's a living cave? A cave that's alive. Nature's mimic. Does it look like the walls are moving? No, they're mm -hmm. not moving. They're covered in you know, mm. patterns of mold, but it's not moving. That mold looks oddly fleshy. It could mm. also just be maybe water coming in and out. It's making that sound. We are right next to the water. We sure are. Well, we might as well push forward. The sooner we can get this done, the sooner we can get out of here. I'm going to say this part of the cave is where we should head. Sorry, I didn't see that ping. North? No. East. Towards the west. Okay. I'm waiting for people to move so I can follow. Yeah. What's, what's this on the ground right here? Should I be worried about it? Well, do you remember the description? There was rubble and broken bits of bone. I'm dookie. Um, I'm missing Gwai here again. I thought you attached to right here. Me. Oh, yeah. I know, but I thought he was thought I grouped them together. Is that a uh, rough terrain spot? Or was it just rubble there? Uh, it's not rough terrain. It's just rubble. I uh, can't move but... him at all. He's stuck in the wall. Yeah, I know. My liege! Move? No! <laughs> Come on, Rara. Keep up. You might want to put your bird in your in underneath your cloak. Why your nestles in? <laughs> so as you guys hit this fork in the series of tunnels, uh, you've got the southern and northern tunnel to go through. And the southern's one. It looks like it's newer. Mm -hmm. That southern one's probably a good one. Can you group us together again? Yeah. I was waiting for you to stop moving. I'll stay right. my life on the southern tunnel. Alright. Motocar seems to want to take point. And he's moving. And I'm coming in behind with... Uh... Oop. And uh, as we're coming down this way, does it seem like the... Uh... Sound is getting louder. Not louder, but consistent. Mm -hmm. Um. Can we see any uh, footprints? No. I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna go ahead and cast stunning banner. Smell though. Stunning barrier. Mm -hmm. Get okay. Smelly smell that smells. Smelly. How high are the ceilings? In this section. Yeah. About 20 feet. Is there anything noticeably different on the ceiling? Just more mold. Okay. Nothing besides the creatures hanging on it, looking down at us. <laughs> Are you calling them ropers? Or what are the ones that fall down? Yeah, the rope. Or the. It was the pincers that fall, and then it's the ropers that uh, hang down and have the long, like, tentacles. Just a swarm of pincers. Ugh, I hate those things. But the smell down here is familiar, unfortunately, to you now. It's that of rotten meat. 
Mm. It just seems That's to it. permeate. I hate to start carrying herbs around, so I don't gotta smell this shit all day. You're gonna look over at Agnar and you're gonna see he stuck two uh, things of herbs in his nostrils. <laughs> Sorry, I, I could share, and he like pops one out and holds it up to you. Nah, you're good. <laughs> All right, puts it back in. I'll start squeezing through this tunnel. Okie dokie. Let me know when I can't go any further. Ah. There we go. Keep on moving through. Why does it keep doing this to me? There we go. The side tunnels are going to catch my attention. I'm going to look down. Because the grid is, the grid is like split where the cave is. Mm -hmm. I'm losing Gwai here. Oh no. I'm in the wall. So are they? There you go. They're coming out of the walls. <laughs> Still the same sound of the, like the breathing type thing? Yes. Yeah, this is a consistent I'm glad you remember that, Ed, because I threw several of those at you. It sounds about the same here as it did when you guys made it to the bottom of the stairs. Mm. Yeah. What is it, other than mold, does it smell like anything else? Like salty or... Meat. Mostly the cave smells of rotten meat. Lots and lots of rotten meat. I want to peek down this uh, crevice. To your uh your left yo got you so kind of shining your your light down this crevice it doesn't seem that your light really penetrates through the darkness as the crevice gets smaller and smaller mm -hmm. until eventually you know at the end of the 40 feet that your your light source puts off it just Seems to be nothing. Probably safe. I'll walk by the other one. The natural looking cave formation. Same thing Lyra the... uh, is paralyzed by fear. She can't move. I'm pulling her along as best as I can. I literally can't move my token. <laughs> Meta knowledge. I think it's stuck in the walls. Oh, I could move Gwai here. You guys can alt place if there's not an appropriate grid there. Yes. Confirmed well. Ryra's dead and Gwai here is now Caleb. <laughs> hey, yo, I don't want to go down this road anymore. Sorry, Motocar. As you continue strolling down, taking looks at natural rock formations, you enter a pretty small looking cavern. And what you can imagine is the source of the horrific smell. At the far end of the cave, you can see a swath of carcasses strewn about the floor. And a bit more alarming, as you peek up, you can see a large creature hanging from the ceiling. Agnar is going to see Motokar's face, and he's going to whisper to Ryra. Now would be a great time to drink that. Uh, she's gonna pop the cork and drink the potion. Mm -hmm. And it's looking right back at you, Motocar, with this unholy green light in its eyes as it unfurls two large wings. And I call for initiative. Uh... Jack, no. You might want to move up here. Oh, wow. Make sure I click my token before I hit the button. Blammo. Five, Lori. That's cringe. Oh, wow, I actually rolled a nat 20. Shit. No, Best initiative for Jack Nell. Really good. Don't, See? Don't get that's why it's good that you're in the back. You can you catch get, up. You get to fight the bat first. <laughs> Ooh. What's uh what's your dexterity? Check no your modifier? Mod modifier is a one. Okay. Are you strength based? Yes. 
Hmm. He is a monk. I thought monks were dex based. That's 5e. Oh. Well, monks cool. are actually, they're mad classes, multi ability dependent. Mm hmm. They pretty much need every stat except for like intelligence and charisma. Hmm. And even then, you can work in a way to get your monk to use all six. Cool. But my strength is higher for more damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Now, this is what we're currently looking at, everybody. No, I don't want to see it. No! Oh, it's just a big bat thing. We're good. Oh, I, I love Why that. Why is it on the ground? That's a lot of... Oh, that's, those are ribs. I thought it was teeth. It's ribs. Uh, like a wolf. It's like a wolf, yeah. a giant wolf. That's prime rib there. How the fuck did a giant wolf get down here? Uh, I oh, think no. that might just be like nesting. Like, no, that's. I always looked at it as a bovine of some sort. That's a carcass. Uh, e either way, it's dead, and this thing is going to attack us. So, that's the first piece of art they've given us. That's the uh, the OG characters. Mm -hmm. I was just about to say that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. OG sorcerer and OG fighter. Well, I'm about what is to his name this like? Varen? Valeros. Valeros, yeah. And her, yeah. her name is Valeria. For some oh. reason, they're like using Val. Is it Valeria? No, I'm fucking with you. That's what I thought. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, Pathfinder has a set of iconic characters that you know, act as the artwork for like most of the classes. Like the Barbarian, you have the, the female with the mm -hmm. huge like great sword. That's Amari. Mm -hmm. She's a, a fucking badass. Well, they serve yeah. as more as just art. They're actual the pre-built characters if you don't want to make characters. That too. Yep. Which, actually, Rune Lords uses uh, the fighter, the rogue, the wizard, and the ranger as the pre-builds for this campaign. Which is strange, but neat. So put the barbarian in. She'd make quick work of everything. She sure would. Nice net 20. Gun. I accidentally clicked that. That was my freaking net 20. <laughs> there it goes for the night. If you, uh... If you cross your fingers and that toe that you broke, it might come back to you. <laughs> oh. Alright. So, funny enough, the creature in front of you this large undead bat. Yeah, cool. Uh, uh, here is in there too. Just covered in decayed flesh and those smoldering. She, and she eyes, is the cleric. Unfurls its wings and is going to move first. No. Why is Ryra not in the turn order? Maybe she didn't click. Uh, because Gwai here was I rolled. Did. No, I did. It rolled as Gwai here. Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, no, Probably it didn't. Did. I rolled as Ryvra. It says Gwai right. here in the token. Yeah. 17. Somebody must have done something. It, yeah, you. Oh, it's because I'm grouped together. So when I click oh, Ryra. Okay. Like I say, confirmed, Ryra's now dead, and Gwai here is now the main character. Oh, no. Well, she's not dead. Now? She's just her, her brain is just gone. What do you mean so now? That hasn't always been the case. You can delete Gwai here from the initiative. I put Ryra in. Right here's been just utilizing the body of Ryra. Oh my god. <laughs> Commandeering it, maybe. <laughs> Wait, I think I deleted someone else. So weird. Uh, uh, Why here's gonna talk and Ryra's just gonna be like a monotone. Oh god, Why? that's everyone. Why here speaks. Well, they're for some reason. Because uh, they group together again. That's why Ryra's name is Ryra. 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 <laughs> right, well, you did just drink a thing mixed by Agnor, so you never know what's in that stuff. Check no, I will not stand by for you to keep insulting my skills as an alchemist. I can't wait to melt this undead bat. It's gonna fuck around and find out. Yeesh. Well, as it unfurls its wings and moves first, it's going to drop from the ceiling into a descent flying towards your group. Uh, yeah. 
Let's see. Oh, that's a biggins. It's that's a, big, a big boy. Now it's actually going to land like on all fours as it descends okay. to the ground. And as it like sort of puffs up to Motocar, it's going to open its fang filled decaying mouth and let loose a screech. Try to hit it. Second. Is that something I can attack him? Attack my opportunity on? Hmm. Unfortunately, nope. Gotcha. All right, so that is going to mean that. Let's see. Let me get my ruler out. Wow, that's pretty big. That's quite large. All right, so Thank everyone you. in the okay. tunnel, except for. Jack no at the back needs to make me a fortitude save. Mm. Fort save. Oh no. Oh my goodness. There's that 20 coming back to you. Nine. Nine. Okay. See, Jack, now you complain to be in the back, you. 16, 10. All right. I'll save my reroll for something else. So that is. Unfortunate for Motocar and Lori, as you two are going to be stunned for one round. Oh, no. oh God. Wonderful. That's not good. Our two shield bearers. <laughs> yep. A stunned creature drops everything held. Can't take actions, takes a negative two to AC, loses dex bonus. Yikes. Damn. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's not ideal. And attackers do a plus four bonus on attack rolls to do combat maneuvers on a stunned opponent. Hey, yo, watch this fucking bat suplex motor car. <laughs> 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 oh. Somewhere a cage drops down around motor car. Oh, God. So in that yeah. case, the it's a cage match. And the long sword drop to the ground. Yeah, gotcha. and my uh, Warhammer right. drops. You had your shield away, didn't you? Yeah, my shield's uh, put up right now. All right. So it was mine to have the torch out. Yeah. All right, and that's going to be its turn as we move over to Jekno. I would okay. request kindly to place my torch on the ground. <laughs> Kind of makes sense that Motocar and Lori are up front, and they're the ones that get stunned. Okay, well, I think my I think my dance no my dancing lights would not still be out. They don't last. We're long. all hunched over, and Jack knows like frog jumping <laughs> over all of us. I'm just running along the walls. It's He's okay. like uh, Quicksilver. He's like, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, friendlies, uh, just fine. Doing the uh, Ninja Warrior thing, bouncing. Totally, back just forth. just running slowly at top of everyone's head. Mount it, Jack. No, mount it. This Ew. is your new ride. We shall oh, call him okay. Steven. I had a pet seagull once, and I named him Steven. He was Steven Seagull. <laughs> I like him. Great. Now leave, please. <laughs> You're right. It's a dad joke. It's allowed. So we got movement. What's the play? Um, I was just seeing if I could use headbutt, but the negative eight penalty on the check. It's That's just... not ideal. No. It is. Did you just move it? Oh. I was a little confused there for a second. Now for for headbutt, it says. I take a negative negative eight penalty. How does that work? What would I like for it to work? What would I have to do? Well, you'd be rolling an attack with your combat maneuver bonus. Okay. And if it says you take a negative eight on the combat maneuver, is that right? Well, it says the monk slams his head into the enemy's head, leaving his foe reeling. If the attack hits and the foe is, well, 
same size or one size smaller, the monk can make a free combat maneuver check against the target of the strike. Using the base attack bonus of the attack used to hit the foe. Oh, maybe it's maybe I can't do it on him at all. He is one size category larger than larger. You. Yeah, maybe it's maybe I was I was reading long further and I thought because it was different, I can't use it on him at all. I mean, you, you can I just don't get think bigger. so. We can fix that. Yeah, I think it is same size or smaller. It doesn't say anything about it being larger. Nah, it, you can make it. It's just if it's a size smaller or same size, you can then make a free Before combat maneuver C check. Or B. If it's not the same creature type as the monk, which this is not, you take a negative eight on the check. Yeah. Yikes. But it gets staggered for a round if I if I land it. So mm -hmm. you guys would be safe from an attack. That's why I was hoping it. to do it. Okay, well, and I didn't I use a, um a stun attack in the house already, so I can't use that again. I think I did. Because it's only one a day. Do you remember? I think I, I'm pretty sure I did. I, 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 don't, I honestly can't remember. I don't know what we would have been fighting for you to use a stone attack, but. Right. Yeah. Is it okay if I try to use it? The head though? No, the stunning fist. You gotta keep track of that stuff. I don't. We haven't long rested since we got here. Yeah, I know that's what I <clears> mean. And we we fought we fought things. So you probably you probably used it then. Yeah. So let's just go that you don't have it. Yeah. Punch him a bunch of times. We'll be fine. Yep. I just get a unarmed attack on him. Put him in his gross bat chest. Oh. Get <laughs> him dead in the chest. Right. So attack number one, the only one you're getting, funny enough, is going to be a critical threat. And let's see. Looks like a... It's an 18 on the confirmation. Ooh. Congratulations, check now. He, yeah, he actually got a crit without you saying some bullshit happened. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Funny how that works, right? Congratulations, it's now pregnant. Jack knows the dad. All right, so that's gonna be seventeen damage. Nice. On one attack. Yeah. Nice, buddy. Damn. Nice. How do you? Uh, how's your attack? I squeeze by everybody, run up, and I just. Reach back and do the twisting punch, square it in its heart. Uppercut the butt. Okay. Oh, I don't okay. think it's heart work. <laughs> well, I, you know, you can still do, you do it in the chest right there above its heart. It still does a lot of damage, whether it works or not. We're gonna beat this nice. bat. Take its wings. That's like the first actual like, confirmed crit that we've had in a while. Mm -hmm. That might be the only confirmed Maybe. crit we had. Like I said, because you'd have so much BS working towards you. Sorry, right. can't can't crit a swarm. I had a few crits. Oh wait, the second confirmed crit because there was one against Dalton. I meant for you guys. Oh, gotcha. Then yeah, that would up. be our first. I I crit a a few times, just not confirmed. Well, shit, kudos to you, Jekno. You've earned the party's first critical hit. Nice. And it nice only took job. you guys uh, six levels. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, I, I, I crit something that couldn't be critted. <laughs> yeah. Well, oof. Ryra, you watched Jekno 
schmooths past you and Lori, gets right up in this thing's face, and punches it right in his chest. I'm gonna force missile, which nice. I get three missiles, so I'm gonna hit this three times. Okay. Nice. And this is the thing we looked at last time, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, so that's... Five, three, and four. Twelve damage. Sweet. I don't like that this sheet doesn't give me a way to keep track of what spells I've already used. Sure. I have to... It does. Ow. No, because it shows what are prepared. Yeah, it shows prepared. It doesn't, it doesn't allow you to like click it like you used it. It's okay, I have a little sticky note that I've been keeping track of. You can I just write it underneath the spell casting thing. Or like spell per day, or spell like. That's what I have for Mighty Pebble. You know? Oh, nice crit, but not confirmed. Totally his turn. Both me and Motocar. Wait. <laughs> I, I was just showing. You wasted a oh. solid hit. Uh, it wasn't a yeah. crit confirm, though. Still a good hit. Well, I mean, I don't even use roll 20 to roll anything anymore. That's true. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, but you're stunned. Yeah. Yeah, so, I'm stunned, so. It was not meant to be seen. He just moved. Yeah. What it was. Ryra, are you moving or anything? <laughs> Not really anywhere to move. <laughs> I guess I can try and move up behind Motocar. You don't have to. Would you move closer to that undead bat thing? It's not undead, is it? It's, oh, I don't know. It's it's decaying flesh. It's decaying it's flesh undead. bat. I still uh, can't even see like the, the icon yet because of my... Yeah, Ryra's not moving. Uh, she's high. She's uh, crouching behind Lori. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Which she's quite tall, so. <laughs> See the entire top of her shoulder, like shoulders up from above, from behind Lori. <laughs> okay. So this can be pelted with three force missiles. Pew pew pew. Point, point. Those have increased uh, damage, um, Ryra, from your more intellect, or no? No, I think we established that since it's a special for my evocation oh, class, that gotcha. the plus doesn't apply. Besides, most spells don't scale with your uh, your intellect mod. Mm -hmm. My bombs do. Mm, bombs I don't do think any of my things do, unfortunately. No, it would be your DC for a wizard. There you go. Yeah. Your DC right. would be bumped up by two levels. So good, the good thing about Force Missile is that you don't even really have to look at your target. Really. Since they just kind of strike Yeah, so Ryra right. just sticks out of here and goes... <laughs> <laughs> As it's weaving around the heads. Yes. Wizards <laughs> right by Jack Noah's ear. Ah, shit! Agnar's gonna slap Ryra in the back. That's... That's the ticket. <laughs> and he's gonna kind of like go... Hey everyone, duck! I'm assuming oh, it's my turn. And he's gonna throw, lob and throw a what? Tanglefoot bomb. And let's see if I hit against touch. Before I RP anymore. Dirty 20 against touch. Okay. And you can't throw and, it from where you are, right? Yeah, are you I can. For the creature or for an. For the area? creature. Uh, close enough. All right, that is going to be a success. Um, a DC 18 for the Tanglefoot side of it. If he fails it, he's entangled and glued to the floor. And that's a uh, reflex? Uh, that's a great question. Hold on. Likely a uh, reflex, Dave. Yeah, and that was 21, by the way. I keep forgetting that other. Uh, nice. Also, uh, let's see, is it just... Yep, reflex. Gotcha. This thing doesn't have any reflexes. It lost those ages ago. <laughs> well, it rolls a 17. Hey, so Not failed. Good enough. So 18 damage, and it is stuck. Or, I don't know how long. Fun. Uh -oh, uh -oh. I'm reading Tanglefoot. A creature that is glued to the floor or unable to fly can break free by making a strength save 
We're dealing 15 points of damage to the goo, the slashing weapon. Come Try on, roll 20. Off. The goo. Uh, Uh, the sounds... goo becomes brittle and fragile after 2d4 rounds. <laughs> Guess I roll a 2d4. Go ahead. So five rounds unless it five scrapes rounds. it off. Or deals gotcha. 15 damage or tries to break free with a fifteen or 17 strength. Sounds good. All right, so try that... to cast a spell. Yeah, there's stuff to go as well but uh yes everyone knows massive yes, under path. that's for yes there's, there's spells yes so i didn't bother to say it and that's in addition to the so it's dealing two types of fire damage should that be consolidated into one number so why did it roll that like that oh it that's splash like bomb. Yeah. it's splash well it is it's a tangle foot bomb so the second number should say splash damage, and obviously this splash... Well, no, it wouldn't affect. I don't think it would affect. Is large creatures get affected by splash damage? It hits more than one square? I'm just going to say no right now. I'll look into that. Okay. If I remember correctly, they don't get affected by splash. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, that would be nutty. But, um... I take up six squares. That's five times they get hit by splash damage. Oh, yeah. come on. Roll 20. <laughs> All right. That's a lot of fire damage, though. Yeah, I rolled really... That, that's max... Almost max damage for... Dang. There we yeah. go. Sheesh. All right. So there is a blast at this thing's feet and it is suddenly stuck to the ground with this goop uh, even some like portion of its wings are either stuck to the ground or to its body uh, I'm going to click this again hold on All right. and now instead of uh, hmm. smelling just like rotten flesh it smells like Burning rot flesh. Ew. Man, my favorite. Jeez. All right, motor car. Nope. Stunned. Oh yeah, you're stunned. Well, as far as stunned goes, is that the beginning of your turn I... that you become stunned? Well, it's for. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Full turn. Oh, this is the first. No, you yeah, already went through a turn. Exactly. Like I haven't done anything yet. It's still oh. turn. Keeps us up at the front. You want Thanks. to say anything? <laughs> I guess you can't since it's a free action. No actions allowed. Okay, that's weird. I I'm sitting at 18 health for some reason. Mm. Should be almost max. Laura used a lot of healing. Uh, yeah, I know. I, my she was at 35 earlier. And now all of a sudden it's at 18. Weird. Just yeah. Eric wanting to kill you, that's all. Right? <laughs> you get used to it after a while. I don't, think he, I don't think he needs. I don't think he needs to slight a hand a, a sheet. He can kill someone pretty easily. Right. I can do it fair and square. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Hold I'm my beer. You're gonna have to prove it to me. Uh huh. So that is unfortunate for Motocar. Lori also stunned you. Yeah. Mm hmm. Unfortunate. Bringing us back to our scaveling. Which is what these things are called, by the way. Well, it's just Big Undead Bat. It doesn't need a name. Big Undead Bat. And a dancing boy. Bub. Yeah, it was just Bubs. Big undead bat. Oh, Mr. Bubs. Mr. Bubs. And a Bort. And a little Bort. Oh, I like how his hands do, like... His yeah, kind of hang down. He's, it looks like he should be in a video for Thriller. Wow. Right. So the Bub here... 
Uh, now confused at why it can't like flap its wings. Um, it's going to start like kind of clicking its mouth, wiggling its uh, nose and ear. Singular. It's only got one. And uh, while it's doing that, it's going to reach out its gross neck and attempt to bite at Jekno. That is a 26 to hit. Holy crap! Nah. Okay, it holds down to 18. It was preemptive. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <Right>? shit. <laughs> well, it's only dealing 11 damage. Only? Only. But... Is it just... Tries to snack on you. He said that too easily. There's, there's right? always a butt for you. There's always a... Now, now make a blank save. Because now it's going to ruin you for three turns or something. Luckily, he can't really run away, though. That Although it seems... Save. It seems like... Uh, <laughs> oh, it doesn't really need to run bitch. away. Do I really need to make a fortitude save? Yeah, no, that's that's unfortunately not a joke. <laughs> there it is. Told you. He, he, Called it. <laughs> told you. He said it way too easily. There's something else coming. All right. Oh, he's good. Okay, that... That's good. Any adverse effects that come out of this thing's mouth as it snacks on you, you're easily able to shrug off your monkin fortitude. Fine, you're immune to it anyways. Yeah, wouldn't I be immune to it anyways? You don't know what it is. Well, that's true, but I was asking... Ed was asking Eric, uh, wouldn't Jack don't be immune to it anyways? There's no fear if I give you an answer. That's a great answer. Right? Actually, that's one hell of an answer. I, I don't like that answer. Else? Oh, you're next, honey. It's okay. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to kill people. Just let us play the game. Ech. That wasn't an ich directed at you. Whenever I click in on my mouse to try and move around the map, it doesn't want to work right. Mm hmm. You've been having that trouble too, Kyle? Yeah, big time. Yeah. It's roll 20. You kind of yeah. expect it. It's just this roll 20. It's a DM playing, using roll 20 to play your game. Yes. <laughs> Anything else? That is going to be it for its turn as it tr struggles to kind of move away. This thing uh, looks like shit, by the way. It looked bad before, but after taking a bomb to the body... Uh, uh, practically an uppercut to the chest from uh, from Ujekno and having bits of it sheared away by force missile it's not looking too hot uh, but could everyone make me a perception check before we move into Jekno's turn ooh natural 19 making it uh, 22 everyone rolled pretty well except Ryra unfortunately that alcohol is going in work. <laughs> Ryra's eyes are Ryra's still shut. Ryra's totally not paying attention. Her eyes are, are glued shut almost. Well, she's a little the look at it. Yeah, probably for the Don't best. blame her, though. Honestly, do not blame no, her. No, it's perfect for the RP. Totally. So, as Ryra does her best to not be here <laughs> at the moment, the rest of you can hear this clicking again, but it's not coming from the bath that's in front Aww, of you. son of a bitch. Uh, it seemed too easy. Yes, it did. And that's where we go into Jekno. Finish it. I'm going to go into Borg Stance, and I'm going to do my... Lovely, lovely, um, what did your attack? Yeah, that thing. Yeah, because my brain isn't working. I crunched a chip right when you said the stance, and I thought you said divorce stance. Flurry of blows. Mm. That's I'm like, it. damn, that's, I want to say. that's a new stance. <laughs> no, he's breaking my parents up. I heard Bort stance. So we all heard something different. Bort's dance. Ah, oh, of course. Like the boy dance. Dang it. Right, At 25, 25 is great. 
out of seven. Okay. So that first attack is going to be a hit. Dealing nine damage. Uh, how, uh, how do you, how do you do it? I clock him right upside his head. Like, I cock back and I just rock his head, breaking his neck with the punch. Okay. As you deliver this blow to the head, the, uh, skin around it is actually going to tear away and the head goes away from the body. Does that sound like a fucking creeper falling down in Minecraft? <laughs> <laughs> and you can see the, the light, that green light in its eyes sticks around for just a little bit before just dimming away uh. as the body falls to the floor. No. Every, everyone all right? No. In addition to that, you can hear scraping coming from further into the, the cavern here. Along with more of that clicking. You can now kind of recognize it as uh, a very, very subtle echolocation. Hmm. I think there's more. Um... Oh, yeah, it sounds like more is coming. Are we... Still in combat? Yeah. Hi. Got it. Okay. Agnar's gonna help Lori pick up her hammer. I'm still stunned. Shake. Violently shake Lori. <laughs> Wake Lori up, damn you! Uh, so, Ryra, your turn. Mm, she's gonna move up against the wall behind my car. Okay. And she's going to hold her turn until another enemy enters her vision. I can't move her. I'm stuck in a crevasse. Seymour Clevage. Do you want to hold your action? What is yeah. your action? Uh, I was going to force missile. Okay, so force missile, the thing that comes into view. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds good. Agnor? Um, it sounded like it was coming from past where this thing was. Correct. Um, Agnor is going to move up. Because he can't see shit. Mm -hmm. um, I guess motorcar is not going to move, so... Unfortunately, I'll be moving he to my turn. Can't. I guess I can, does he does it seem like it's coming from down here yeah from that okay. smaller section um, so he'll move, move up to the back real quick there we go oh hold on I might not have been able to move that far let me recount that I'm sorry gotcha well now that there's not like a huge bat in the way while you're recovering yeah. your, your stuff um, again this cavern is filled with with corpses of, you know, all kinds, animal and humanoid. So Agnar would have <clears throat> kind of tiptoed kind of between the two stunned people, Jack now and give him like a nod, like, I hear something. He's going to look at the, the burning, gooey, disgusting bat on the ground. It's like, you, sir, were not kind. He's going to step over his leg. And as he steps here, he notices something back here and he, he kind of turns back we're not out of this yet okay. and he picks picture. what you're noticing is another scaveling that's currently crawling its way down this chute and he's going to throw bomb I guess that's what he can ah oh, dang it not going to get that plus one, Eric. Uh -huh. You jerk. Um, and it's going to be at the second increment, so it's going to be a negative two. YOLO. Okay, so I'm throwing a Tanglefoot Bomb again. You're going to keep it Love there, it. and how are we going to attack it if you throw a Tanglefoot? Um, 
with ranged. You're gonna take out three people being able. It's to already it. done. Gonna you can try to burn it, but then it's gonna come and could do a screech again. Yolo, I'm doing a tangle of bomb. It might not even succeed. See what happens. So that, that would be a 22. 22. Which is going to hit. And, that's and gonna be DC 18. Reflex. See, now it says splash. I have no idea why it was weird. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay. So it, it makes a 24 on the save this time. Okay. Rather than the 17 from before. So it still takes the, the damage. Damage, but it I don't think it affects it at all. It's one of those saving stock. Let me check that though. It'll be entangled to the floor. As if it failed to save against the Tanglefoot bag. Okay. So yeah. Um, the Tanglefoot bag says even on a successful save, it can only move at half speed. So it's still uh, hu is this a huge or a larger creature? This is large. Is that not huge? Okay. It goes medium, large, huge, gargantuan. Okay. Because huge or larger are unaffected by the Tanglefoot bag. Gotcha. So it's still gooped up, but half speed, right? Uh, half speed, yep. And that's pretty much it. Okay. And still taking damage. Jeez. That's a lot of damage. Let's call this a flex seal bomb. Eh. Honey. I, I, don't I thought know it that. was too. I don't know that chip. Honey, honey, flex honey. Seal. Honey, honey. It's a. That's one of those infomercials. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah. I saw this boat in half. Yeah. Kill like Swift. Slap. That's, that's a lot of damage. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's where that the joke comes from. Got it. Okay. And that is his turn. Gotcha. All by himself. Looking okay. good. All right, motor car, no longer stunned. I'm going to start moving forward. All right. Please do. So for, uh, Move forward 20 feet. Draw my bow as I'm doing that, and take a shot down the narrow hallway. Okay. Let's see how this goes. There's a joke to be made there about shooting a shot down a, down a hallway. Ah! Probably. It's like firing an arrow down a hallway. So let's see, 13. I thought I was throwing a hot dog down Not the gonna hit, unfortunately. Bro, it's squeezing, right? Currently, yeah. It makes it easier to hit, yeah? Yeah, it does reduce its AC while it's squeezing. Bro, I'm bad with bows. <laughs> Unfortunate. Have you ever hit anything with a bow? Once? Once? Mm -hmm. I have. They're not my forte, but I, I can use them. Gotcha. Ugh. You're close, though. Is it squeezing? Fine. If it gets too close, I'm just going to hit it with holy magic. <laughs> Put the fear of my god in it. Wouldn't that be a sight to see? Alright, Lori, you're up now. And unstunned. So, um... <laughs> it's... What kind of action is it to uh, pick up your weapon from the floor? Picking up a move is a move action. Okay. Wait, I handed... I thought I handed you the weapon. I was stunned, so it just clattered back to the floor. That makes sense. <laughs> and out of turn, so... Uh... Yeah, sorry. So, I only have 20 feet of movement. I lose, what, 5 feet? For... Picking up my, my ha hammer. No, it is a move action to pick stuff up. Full move action. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So then, um... Yeah, I'll pick up my war hammer... Um, and then I also want to pick up some of the larger rocks on the ground, in, in, or a large rock in one hand, and I'm going to hold that uh, rock and be ready to throw whenever uh, it comes into view, and 20 feet specifically. So when it comes within 20 feet of you? Yes. Okay. So ready to action. Yes, and that'll be it for me. Cool. Which actually brings us to the new scaveling. 
smells of charred, burning flesh, and it's going to try to move through. Let's see. Oh. Yeesh, because it's squeezing so big. It's not going to be able to move too far. Is it starting to thrash its way through the tunnel into the room? You can see it's starting to tear off uh, additional chunks of flesh as it scrapes by the the rock wall. Oh, ew! Gross. Yeah. Check now. Okay, okay. We can almost see Robin. Right up to it, and I am going to punch the living crap out of it. All right, let's hope your luck continues. I was about to ask if it would be a disadvantage because it's like crammed in the crevice there, but I don't think Pathfinder has that. Son of a bitch! If only. Didn't confirm, but at least you get that boars attack thing, right? No, I don't get two attacks because I move. <laughs> but it's, it's still a, a hit. It's not a disadvantage, but it is already at negative stats for for squeezing. That's the Pathfinder equivalent. Pretty much. But it's still a nice hit as it's struggling to move through not just the narrow passageway, but also the uh, tar like substance that's currently covering it. Oh. Damn. Your luck was continuing, just didn't work with the action economy. Yep. Worries, buddy. Next time. All right, Ryra. Oh, Are you going to continue to hold your action? Uh huh. Is he so wild? Gonna move right here and then force missile. Okay. So moving past that nasty, headless bud. Or sorry, bub corpse. <laughs> Let's see, we got two, four, three. Okay. Not bad. Mm. I just, what... I don't want to get in melee with it, but I don't want to use like a big AoE thing. Oh. You're not thinking like Torin at all. Oh, <laughs> Torin has that ability to carve out his friends. She doesn't. Yeah. One of these days, I'll just not. Do I like a controlled fireball for another several levels. Yeah. Jeez. But nine damage, pretty good. Uh, you can kind of hear the, the 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 missile kind of through the flesh, or the three missiles, I should say. Wonderful. Blink, nice. blink, blink. Once again, she goes. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Yeah. Speaking of doing it, Agnor, do it. Doing it. Um, I'm going to be running out of bombs soon, though. Um, yeah. I am going to throw a frost bomb this time. Okay. And I'm going to first... Actually, he moved up, so I should be good. Yeah. All right. X. That's uh, 16. Seem on the touch. Against touch. It's going to be a hit. That's going to be 11 hit. cold damage, and they need to do a DC 18. Damage. No, it's 12. Yeah, 12. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, because of the point blank. Point blank. And if you fail this, you are staggered until the next turn. Their next turn. All right. Sorry, fortitude, yeah? I'm yes. Right. Mm -hmm. right, cool. 18. It fails. Yeah, I don't know what staggered it. does, but it does it. 
taking 20 damage. 20 damage? 12 plus 8. Uh, is it getting the splash? Don't all your bombs deal splash damage? Yeah, but I thought... Dude... Oh. They're big enough. It's not going to okay. deal additional splash damage because of... That is my understanding. Unless oh, so... Oh, gotcha. Okay. It, takes so it does the splash, splash, but not... But it doesn't get for each space. For each itself. space. Okay. Roger, Dodger. And then staggered. It would be staggered if it wasn't fucking dead. Oh. <laughs> so, so he throws the bomb and it, like, like cryo freezes, like, uh, what's his face in James Bond? I'm invincible! And she's like, <gasps> and then or Agnes is gonna say, Agnes gonna say uh, yeah, or Demolition Man. He's gonna call out to Jack now. Jack, no, give it a little tap. Jack, no, taps it with his toe. Just uh, bust stuff into tiny little bat pieces. What are you eating? I can't quite tell from here. Brownie. Okay. <laughs> wasn't sure. You were eating with weird. a fork so delicately. I wasn't sure. Well, <laughs> it's so messy and I need to be able to touch my keyboard. Normally I eat yeah, it with my hands true. like an animal. Um, Rawr. Interesting. All right. So it looks like the ruling that I had was incorrect, maybe? I mean, we'll keep it going. Just because it's already done. And it was cool. But if I'm reading it right, uh, splash damage depends on the creature type. So, like, if splash damage would be dealt around, like, a large creature, I think. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. That doesn't sound right. Let, but, me, let me look at it. Yeah. I'll I'll speak, keep going and I'll... Yeah. We'll figure it out. But for now, cool. As the, uh, the bub gets kind of frozen as it's trying to scrape through the, uh, the little tunnel. Uh, frosty and half frozen, it just stops moving. Gnarly. Now you guys find yourselves in this disgusting, smelling cave filled with animal and humanoid corpses. Uh, nice choice, Modcar. I know. I always find the the good fights. Yeah, it's uh, good to stretch out. I'll uh, step up behind uh, Jekno and use. Uh, castings of my uh, wand of cure light wounds. So that's okay. uh, six and then five, so eleven back. Can I put my bow away and go retrieve the torch and my long sword? Uh, Good. and Thanks, as you walk Lori. by, I'm gonna take a look at Motocar. Does he seem hurt at all? I think, I'm, on me. I think mm. I'm the only one that took a hit. I think so. <laughs> we got lucky we got stunned in there, huh? Mefty. Uh, they got lucky at all. And then I'll use uh, one more on myself. Okay, that's five. While you're healing and retrieving your, your items and such, uh, some of your eyes drift over towards the, the pile of, of corpses and you can see that out of the, the bunch the more fresh ones uh, include three humans two of which uh, are dressed like almost nomads uh, and it doesn't look like they have too much on them of any value. But the third one looks unique in the fact that it only has one arm. Mm -hmm. 
not taken after death. One arm while alive. Now, anyone staring at the, the pile of corpses can make me a local check. Yeah, we know him. That's one arm Joe. Mm -hmm. Um, didn't we meet? Didn't we meet a one-armed dude who we sent off back towards, San or Sandpoint? No, he had. He had both arms. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so I rolled a fifteen, but I'm untrained, so that's just oh, a ten for me. Hold on. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Damn, knocked twenty off that, huh? Uh huh. Embarrassing. Well, Ryra, you uh. You can effectively identify this corpse. Um, There's someone that's been on the coast for a while. Uh, he's a notorious one-armed bandit named Shaz Redshiv Bilger. Uh, notorious for being the organizer of robbing nearly two dozen-ish merchant convoys along the Lost Coast Road over the past decade. Damn. You know that he's a a wanted man. You've seen plenty of cities where they're sometimes offering rewards. Uh, Ryra's gonna kind of grimace and scratch her head and kind of explain who he is and suggest, um, I hate that you guys have made me start thinking like this, but if you wanted to take evidence of him, we could pretend we killed him and collect the money. Hell yeah. Start lopping the head of off. As she's explaining that, already lopping God, the head off. <laughs> no, don't lop the head off. I, we might need more than just his head. You guys are really awful well, already, influences. I'd like to say that. Like well, the head it is enough. We can say that Jekno... I don't know. The, I don't know what I was going to say. They're not going to care how he dies. Well. well, what kind of shit does he have? I guess we can just say that you're pulling him out of the pile. Yeah, mm -hmm. ripping him out. Figure out what we're doing with him. Well, the gear that is surviving on him, uh, on his remaining uh, arm, and by extension, hand... You can see that he has a very nice-looking pearl ring. Still tucked away in a scabbard is a, uh, what you would assume is a long sword. His head is also wearing a type of hat. And there is, you know, as you pull him away from the pile, a pouch kind of like rips open. And there's a scattering of about... 56 gold pieces. I don't like the way he said assume it's a long sword. Well, you'll <laughs> never know until you take it out of the sheath. Is there anything magic out of any of this stuff? Well, that depends. We can use an appraisal check or we could do detect magic, right? I can read magic. I can't detect it. Damn. I too did take detect magic. Oh. I ha I have it in my book. But I did not prepare it. Lori has can it. I, can I spellcraft and our or arcana? Be appraisal or or detect. Yep. Appraisal. I can do appraisal. Appraisal can determine if it has magical properties. Although you won't. I cannot appraise it. Ryra's never seen a pearl in her life. Oh, I sure. can appraise. I'll trust Lori's magical insight to see what she, what she can find on it. Yeah, so I just kind of want to... If they put everything that we pulled off of him into like a little pile, I want to uh, use Detect Magic and uh, see if any of it's magical. And we'll just assume you're going for the full, like, was it 12 seconds? <laughs> mm-hmm. So you know uh, what's well, it's magical, you know what magical aura is around and strength mm -hmm. all right to detect everything magic in 60 feet so have fun all Get right your way well yeah we're gonna step all step away uh, so the only 
pieces of surviving gear on Shaz that are magical are the hat and the sword. Well, uh, if you were you were asking about magic, Moti, it looks like the sword and the hat is magical. The sword is, huh? A hat? I'll pick up the sword and look at it. Agnar likes the hat. He's not even sure what it does, but he looks fancy. Looks like spellcraft can also be used to determine magical things. Identify properties. Okay, so that's identifying properties while using detect magic. So, I wouldn't be able to hold these things up to Ryra and ask her what they like, what she can glean from them. I mean, I suppose you could tell her what's oh, magic to come from. I have, I have spellcraft. I'm trained in it, so shit. I didn't even you don't realize. have a plus seventeen though. Well, I mean, I can still get a good roll. Hey, that's a dirty twenty for me. I don't know. I have a know. plus fourteen. I don't know what I roll. Use Ryra's though, because it has to come off off of your detect magic to do that. Well, we can always tuck it away, and once I have some time, I can sit down with my book and uh, try to figure out what's going on here. Oh, I have yeah. a wand of identify. Doi. Doi. But, uh, I just want to know what that hat does. Yeah. yeah. I will break out my wand of identify. I want to know what? what kind of hat it is. Is it a tricorn? Is it a bucket hat? Yeah, what kind of hat? Oh, let's hold up. Let me get some breathing room. No, tell us what kind of hat it is now, please. Yes, we all want to know what kind of hat it is. Oh, Lori, using your detect magic and your spellcraft, uh, this is a fairly common uh, type of, of magical hat. It's a hat of disguise. Mm. Something that's probably pretty useful for a notorious bandit. Um, here's what it looks like. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh. Ah. So it's a normal looking hat, but it allows you to alter your appearance per the disguise self spell. As part of that disguise, the hat can also change. Hey, that hat's familiar. Hmm. Ah. I remember another character in oh. another life. Guys, if, if you could imagine a hat that would be made specifically for Agnor, this would definitely be it. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't need it. I'll kind of hold it up by its uh, by its bill and uh, turn to the party and I'm like, well, it seems like this hat can uh, help you uh, look more appropriate in new settings if uh, you needed needed to uh, you know take a different form, if you will. Um, I mean, how much sleuthing do you think we're going to be doing? You know, All the sleuths. You know, if Jekno wears that hat, people won't think he's a Scarnetti anymore. He can disguise that. <laughs> right. But if I wear this hat, I could be that, beautiful. That was my first thought, too, is that Jekno could use it to not be a Scarnetti. For at least an hour. I, I kind of like my idea about the Moti. I could wear the hat and actually be beautiful for once. Nah, you don't need it. You're gorgeous. Oh. Yeah, Lori, come on. Completely ignoring the other two, she's gonna like goo goo eye at my car. Uh, Ryra's gonna do that thing where she like does like that, you know, and she's gonna be like, I put you at a solid 10. <laughs> and you're looking at her ass from your angle right now. Lori, Lori's holding the hat by the bill, and like Agnar, as all this talk is going down, he's like stooping low to like put his head under the hat, like, <laughs> wear it. I knight you strange and put it on. <laughs> Said. Uh, and for the sword, Mr. DM. Pull from yeah. Skyward. So unfortunately, what? your spellcraft wasn't enough okay. to determine that, but I believe Ryra was going to use one to identify, correct? Um, yeah. I'll uh, hold it up to Ryra and like, I, I can't understand this one. Can you help? Bippity boppity. Hmm. Identify this bitch. Who's yeah. taking the hat? I you think we guess. should hold. You're the only one that cares about it right now. 
I think we can save it for a time we need it. I don't, unless you really want it. We can let him wear someone it for can, now. Someone can wear it for now. I'm not wearing that out. I don't care. Oh, Lori, as you hold up the sword, um, and Ryra uses the one of identify on it, you would have to sort of unsheath it. Okay. And as you do, the metal is a fantastic, uh, in fantastic shape for being down here as long as the corpses have. Um, it also doesn't look like your normal steel or iron. So even without the identify, uh, you guys can figure out that this is an adamantine sword. Ooh, shit. With the one of identify, you can figure out that this is a plus one adamantine longsword. Ow. So... I, oh yeah, Rai would have to say that, sorry. Uh, she would. Hmm. Convey that information. Hey, uh, this is a plus one longsword. Adamantine. <laughs> what does plus one mean? Does that mean um, you're... Not you... sure, the wand, the wand speaks. <laughs> uh, I don't necessarily understand. It has a little plus one etched on the blade. Does it mean it's going to make you hit harder, hit faster, it's, hit it's, smarter? It's, it's it's cut in a certain way that it it's glides easier. The wand speaks. Uh. I just convey. Does so, anybody else want this sword besides me? I'll hand it to a uh, motocar instinctually. Uh, Ryra will be like, "What if I wanted the sword?" Can you use the sword, madam? I'll hold it out to you if, you, if you're going to swing it. Gotta build your, so your sword arm somehow. Uh, she hold she shows you her her noodle arms. <laughs> we'll have to work on that. Her <laughs> arm was get her arm was getting weak just holding the wand of identify. <laughs> it's like ooh. We need to teach you how to punch fools. Why would I need to do that? She holds up her taser. <laughs> Cause that'll only totally last so long. Y'all can work together and make like a telekinetic punch spell. That would be cool. <laughs> Hell yeah. Imagine punching someone with that. Is it Not possible to like invent it. spells? Hmm. Kind of, but it's a little redundant given how many spells exist. I'm sure that spell exists. Some it does. Thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does. But no, uh, maybe. I'm sure there's some stuff out there. I would be hesitant to use it personally, just because balancing the magic is difficult. Well, seems like... I, uh, it's kind of it's starting to smell. Um, what a blade. Maybe one right. of you out of here. Did Lori um, hand the hat to Agnar? Yeah, it's on your head. Okay. Incredibly costly motor card. I'm uh, very aware. Yeah. What is this? That's where the items came from. Mm -mm. No, uh, you guys are actually standing like in a pile much of bodies on next to the pile of bodies. Uh, if you guys peek past the frozen corpse of this this bub, uh, <laughs> he's shattered now. Oh, of course. All right, so you shatter him. Uh, you look past the little freezer section further into the cave. Uh, what you're looking at is. The bottom of a well? Weird. Bottom of a well. But it's all open here. Oh, that reminds me. We never went down that forbidden hole. We found it. Okay. The boob hole. The boob yeah, hole. Boob hole. Tell me if this sounds strange, but there's mold down here. There's these crazy bats. So, I'm not taking away the idea that these guys are crazy with weird magics, but what if this had something to do with them getting sick, at least, with the mold? Because yeah, if this is the probably, well... I don't know if we want to spend too long down here. Those bats were definitely undead. There's more to it than just mold. Uh, I wouldn't drink from that. <laughs> she says this lore is taking a massive... No, I'm kidding. That's my uh, professional opinion. Well, um... I think we should get moving. 
Yeah, I don't want, I don't want to be caught off guard by any more of these things. Grab that ring off of them, right? Why we're starts gagging? I'll grab it and just put it in my pocket. Okay. What's his ring? armor? Uh, the armor that he's wearing has been like absolutely shredded. You would imagine that at one point it would have been like a very nice set, like cured and dyed leather armor, but no longer. One well, of those 56 gold, the adamantine longsword, ring, a disguise, and yep. a ring, pearl ring. What do we need for identification purposes? His head. Just Swap his it head. off. His head's the head of a corpse, but it's still relatively recognizable. I'm not right, then that. we're taking his head. <laughs> Off with his head. Swing. How many times have you guys walked around with heads on your belts? Uh, several, almost several times. Whole, almost the whole time. Well, <laughs> in in our defense, most of them were goblins. I'm practically a witcher at this point. As many times as I've had, had a head around my waist. <laughs> well, the witcher normally provides a whole body, don't they? Mm -hmm. Heads usually suffice. Mm hmm. All right. You can still hear that rhythmic breathing sound. Can I make any kind of check to figure out what that is? I, I, I feel like no? it's this used like to be all water. Living. It's just reminiscing. Let's keep moving, boys. This is like a dried up well. I'll put my old I... plus one in its sheath and dry out the adamantine. With the eager grin, start walking. He's schmoozing. Like, we're going. I'm following. I'm just writing some notes real quick. Gotcha. I'm gonna make my way back to that that crossing we had already. Hmm. Good okay. That has definitely made this whole ordeal worth it. Not for me. Punching a head off of bat, giant bat, made it worth it for me. Well, Moti, do you want to do this the old-fashioned way, and I'll hold up a coin? No need. I have a good feeling about this path. I have a bad feeling. All right, going down the northern western tunnel. Okay. So uh, I say we go northeastern tunnel. East. Uh, where do you go west? There's an east tunnel somewhere. Up here. It's also west. Well, there's the northern tunnels, and then there's the two tunnels to the west. It's fine. Let's just keep going this way. <laughs> um, as we're walking, uh, Agnar's gonna talk to Ryra and say, uh. Um, I hope you don't find any offense to this, but I feel like, for some reason, this man is slightly obsessed with you. So if you don't mind, I might borrow your looks for a little bit. All right, oh. this is getting weird, so now... No, and right when he says that, he's going to turn and look exactly like Ryra with Disguise Self. And she, kind of, she kind of uh, jumps a little bit, but she goes... That's actually a good idea, and he's, I appreciate it. He's going to have the same clothes that he had on, just Ryra's face, and the hat turned into this little bow. Um, Ryra head. actually carries around a spare change of clothes after the whole inkblot instance, so uh, if he wants to change into her clothes, he is welcome to. I think I'll be good for now, but I'll keep that in mind. I'm going to take Jack No's idea and go up this path instead. Ah, Moti. As he begins moving, I'm still clutching that one rock in my hand. <laughs> so, Motocar and company, uh, as you move through the northern tunnel into this little cavern here, uh, the mold that you've been seeing across the rest of the cave is particularly thick in this section. 
Um, you can also see that several uh, pickaxes have been tossed to the corner of the room um, to your right. And one of them looks particularly well made. Like a well made pickaxe. We'll take a look at it. You have about five minutes left to uh, that potion, Ryra. Or four, maybe? How long do we loot those bodies for? Yeah, it didn't take too long. Okay. A couple minutes. Get a hand on the uh, the nice pickaxe. Nice pick. All right. So out of five kind of ruined and mold-covered picks, uh, there is one that has weathered these conditions very well. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a heavy pick, mind you. And it's to been give made. off the idea it's a masterwork. Uh, you would get that, yeah. You could also try to appraise it. But with my experience in being in mines, and should I be or being living from a mining community? How would that go? How do you mean? Like, could, at the yeah, I'd help him appraise it a little bit. Oh, okay. Well. He seems to do pretty well by himself. <laughs> Maybe I talked his ear off about pickaxes for a little while because that's all I knew. Um. The end so, of the pickaxe. Yeah, Modkar, this is a masterwork pickaxe, but it also gives you the impression that it is somewhat magical. Idiot huh. waste their time making a heavy pickaxe magical. <laughs> uh, I'll go over and bip the bopty want to identify. Alright, cool. Mm. So what is it unbreaking this... three? <laughs> Silk touch. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah, oh. baby. Right, as you identify this one, it is a plus, or sorry, identify this pick, it's a plus one heavy pick. Why, why, why? I'll never understand wealthy men wasting time. <laughs> as you take a look at those picks that have been lined up against that side of the wall your eyes move towards more carved out section that Ryra's just stepped into um unknowingly it seems nice knowing you <laughs> oh was I not supposed to step there oh I mean it's it's fine but the particularly thick uh, mold in this portion of the cave isn't the same black and blue per usual uh, the mold that you were just stepping around was yellow is there mm -hmm. any kind of check I can make to identify it make a nature check gotta lick it <laughs> test it out uh, Ryra's um, way too grossed out 11 Mm -hmm. It's a nat one. Would like to check a, uh... I mean, I'll, I'll take a look, but I know I won't be able to do better. That's a natural one. Damn, both of you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the knowledge I give is... I've heard things about never eating yellow snow, so I don't think eating yellow mold would be good either. I've seen that before. Indeed you have. It's Iocane powder. <laughs> Your workings with poison in the past, begrudgingly, have uh, helped you identify that this yellow mold is in fact quite toxic, uh, easily disturbed, and best avoided. You do know that it can be uh, only destroyed by fire or leaving it in sunlight to render it dormant. Um, what makes this such a particularly lethal mold is the fact that it, game-wise, deals constitution damage. So and did I take continue... constitution damage when I went around? 
here's the thing. It will continue to do constitution damage for the next five rounds. Out of combat, that hits like a fucking truck. That happens. Um. Immediately. Inhaling these spores can leave a perfectly healthy man dead in under a minute. Did I take constitution damage when I stepped around Motocar? Did you? No, you didn't. Edmore notices the uh, the mold. He like he like grabs her by the back of like the cloak or whatever she has on, and like yanks her back. Like you might want to look before you step. As she's looking back at her face, <laughs> steer clear of that yellow mess. Uh, it's very strange to hear herself talking in such a strange accent. I grow tired of this damnable cave. We're getting in, killing Aldrin, and getting out. These poisons are a cheap, cheap way to die. Do you have a way of bottling that up? I don't, uh, I don't practice that. It's not the alchemy that sane people should use. Mm. Putting that on an arrow, it's got to be great. Huh? Sorry, I was coughing. So putting that on an arrow has to be great. Some would argue, uh, some would argue that, but I've only found that poison does harm to people that don't deserve it. Too much collateral damage, if not used properly. Also, a very difficult thing to get a hold. Uh, sorry, to get a hold of, since this mm. stuff tends to operate on like a hair trigger almost. Oh my god! Mm. Just for funsies, I went ahead and rolled the damage of what could have been for any of you guys. It'd be like thirty um, something damage. Constitution? Hell no! <laughs> You'd be dead on the spot. <laughs> You'd Assuming you fail six fortitude saves. Because you can succeed on a fortitude save uh, and end the effect immediately. Assuming you fail all of them, though, that could have been six, nine, ten constitution damage. I have an eleven constitution. He would have been at almost dead. At one constitution, you're, like, unable to... Do yeah. anything really. That's you can't even hold the gear that you have. <laughs> that that kind of That would have been to. The, that would have been crippling. That would have been everyone within ten feet of that. It would have mm. been vegetables. So it would have been our entire group except for Lori. Pretty much. Even me. Anyone bring a sled? Carry all these bodies out. <laughs> I, I have, I have some <laughs> things that could prevent me from getting dead. Oh wait, I this is a poison, anyone. right? Uh, Jack, this... you almost brought about our death, picking the North Cave. Is it poison? You're the one that picked up things from in there, stirring up the poison. Yeah, I think it's poison. I think it would be considered a poison. Okay, yeah, so I would have a I would have a bonus to it because of my hearty there's, Rachel. There's, there's no need to fight over. Did but, what? But good thing is Agnor was able to catch it. that. Hell, oh, we're good. Ha <laughs> ha. I just realized that I'm actually extremely pro proficient with heavy picks. Ooh, take the pick. That's awesome. Uh, Ryra's going to carefully move as far away from the mold as she can. Yeah. Okay. I'll take the pick then. Great. Ryra, do you have any light on you right now? God, Ryra. <laughs> Can you just like you have to like <laughs> since I'm working with other people's stuff. <laughs> Ryrus are peeing death right now. No. Uh, she she's like, I'm just gonna move over here. I don't want to step in poison. Also, it's completely dark over here, so I have light on me. That you'd be giving off. We both yeah, have light you guys on. are giving off plenty of light. I was just curious if Ryra had a, a torch. Oh, okay. She does not. Okay. 
Oh my god. Alright, somebody else lead the way. Um, I'm not moving from the spot until somebody moves ahead of me. We should probably let Agnol go before, uh, to, because he seems to know this mold a little bit better. It seems that it opens up. It opens up a little further, and do I hear or see anything? Can I roll a perception or something like that? Yeah, um, actually, we'll have Agnor and Ryra both roll uh, perception. Can Gwai here roll too? Yeah. Get that big number. Gwai here is on my shoulder still, right? Yeah, so he is. Got, he's got that bird's eye view. <laughs> 16, 18, 25. Which. Okay. So as the two of you are looking into uh, this next portion of the cave where these tunnels seem to coalesce, um, everything seems pretty consistent, like it has. Uh, bones on the floor, rotting smell of flesh. Um, however, Gwai here seems especially spooked. Uh, and is... Oops. Does he communicate anything to me, verbally? Um, <laughs> Get ready, bird... bitch. <laughs> How would a bird describe this? Spook, spook, spook! Hmm. Quiet talks with clicking like barracks. <laughs> I don't know if that came across in the mic or not. It didn't. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well... Gotta get That's real close. close. Yeah. So, not spook, spook, spook. But Gwai here, like, kind of flutters its wings, and you can see his. Uh, Poofing up. Don't the feathers on the top of the uh, bird heads have specific names? A plume? Mm hmm. A plume. Is it plume? Okay. Yeah. But you can see the plume on, on Gwai here's head uh, kind of poof up and sort of alert. Uh, as he tells you to in the shadows. Uh, Ryra will communicate to the rest of the group. Gwai here says there's something in the shadows ahead. It's called a crest. A crest, thank you. Gwai here says there's something in the shadows ahead. Be careful. I'm gonna unshadow it when I get my hands on it. Perhaps Motocar should take the lead again. Or Lori. I'll maneuver around the uh, the sporage and start moving down that way, lighting up the cavern as I move. Got you. Still following, just writing. Oh, okay. So, take a take a step back, Monocar. Yep. Because as you round the corner with your torch outstretched, uh, you can hear this wet hissing sound coming uh, from the south and you're kind of face to face with this rotted humanoid uh, ghoul <laughs> my favorite <laughs> and as it lets out this hiss you can hear a series of hisses I found the ghoul spawner. <laughs> so I hope you guys are ready for combat two. Woo! <laughs> Same initiative or new? New initiative. Let me take okay. me for it. Some kind of sham? Yeah. Rude, first off. <laughs> um, Damn it! Every, if, when I click my token, I'm clicking Gwai here. So, um, because it's I'm... grouped you two together. Yeah, I'm just gonna roll, and then you can take my roll and put it on there. Okay. Five or fourteen again. again. That's solid. Ryder gets a twenty-three. Oh wow! So you guys are lucky. You guys are all lucky. I'm gonna nuke these ghouls. Except Lori, unfortunately. I don't even see anything yet. 
There's just one directly south of me. Five. There's a five foot gap in between us. But you can hear. But I can hear more. It's actually odd that I didn't see this damn thing when I started the other path. How's that work out, huh? Just because you guys are moving doesn't mean nothing else is. Yeah, it's moving, man. No, I get it. There's there's some uh, drop in. I, I hit the uh, the AI wall, so now it realized I was there. Oh, I gotta get the scaping out of here. Boop. Right. You're dead. He's dead, man. Which direction does the other ghoul sound like? You guys want to see a dead body? Uh, it sounds like they're coming from. Sounds like they're coming from uh, sort of northwest and south. Mm. Sorry, northwest and south. Two directions, not three. Okay. Ghoul has higher decks than me? Man, that's scary. Isn't it? You'd think that a, a corpse wouldn't. You gotta get limber. Well, I thought you so, only said you have a plus right? one modifier to your decks. Yeah. Even I have more than that. I don't like the shape of the of the ghoul's head. It's like it's wearing a bald cap. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the ghoul designs, the like official stuff, but it works, I guess. It's got a cone head. That's just uncalled for. <laughs> Psst! Aki, what does he see up there? So with all this hissing going around, uh, and, you know, Ryra, you're startled by the Against her better judgment, uh, through sheer force of will, she will move forward. Ooh. And... <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> right. What? What? <laughs> You're close. I only see one. We hear plenty. I hear multiple. Yes. I can't do anything. Can't see them. I can't do anything from back there, though. I'm just saying that your uh, your little bout you had coming down might end up coming true real quick. C can I peek around <laughs> the corner at it from here? Uh, no, unfortunately. Oh, motherfucker. Uh, I will hold my action until I see uh, a ghoul or whatever it is come into sight. All right. Hey, man, what's up with this turn order showing, like, five ghouls in there? What you mean? I see three. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What Hold on. Mean? You sure? Hey, I man, there's way more than one. This ghoul got some crazy action economy where he gets to move three times. Hell yeah. This ghoul's, <laughs> like, super jacked. <laughs> it's a really fucked RPG mechanic going on. <laughs> We got drop ghouls inbound. Yeah. Turns out they dropped a, a little bit too far to the south. <laughs> As it comes sneaking out of the shadows. They're a pack of three. They've been playing too much Apex. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. You sure you want to do that? You sure you want to get close? It, it does not give a human response. Instead, it just kind of lets out its long ghoul tongue in anticipation. Anticipation. There we go. Now I'm actually trying to figure out whether or not the school gets into... Uh, you're trying to figure that out too, Kaylee? I'm trying to figure out where I can throw a fireball. Oh, okay. Delicious, delicious damage. Well, alright, motocar. Uh, can I do my action since it moved into sight? So, if I correctly remember, which might be wrong because I hate working with the hold action stuff, I don't know if you go before the creature or if your action, like, interrupts theirs? It, um, it's the same way as uh, in 5e. You interrupt it and you move in the turn order, so you're now before them. Uh, I, I thought it was after. No, I thought if you hold an action... It's for a triggering thing, but if you hold your turn, then you move. You, you're on like pause until you can decide. 
where you are in the turn order. As far as I know, it's just ready in action. So for ready in action, you wanted to... Attack. You didn't say specifically what you wanted to do. Oh, well, I was going to fireball. Okay. Uh, yeah, ready in action, you have to have a specific, like, uh, qualification. So, like, an enemy comes in... That's what I gonna, said when, when something... Spell. Yeah, when, when it, she when gets C1. That's your trigger. But the action, you know, I didn't know what spell you want to cast. It's fine. But the trigger was something comes into view. So that means that your initiative result comes out, which you did your ready to action. If you come to your next action, okay, got it, got it, got it. So it comes the count on which you took the ready to action. So that would move you down the initiative right there. And you should be good to go. Okay. So we're gonna throw a little fireball and I'm gonna throw it right here. It's a 20 foot radius so mm. it will hit ev it will not hit Motocar but it'll hit anything like there. It's right there. So I'll get ready to roll my reflex checks. Ooh. Big uh -huh. damage. And is that saving speed reflecting the uh, fox's cunning? Yes. Okay, so 21 with foxes cunning. Mm-hmm. Cool. Nice. Right. So that's 20 fire damage, eh? Yeah, unless they make their save, then it's half. So it'll be 10 if they save. Which they did not. Ew, you carry a ball of bat guano and sulfur in a pouch? Yuck. Gotta. Ugh. Then what do we fought the giant bats? They smelt that on you. Yeah, I was secretly uh, scooping up any excrement I could find on the ground. Uh, when you guys weren't looking. Well, thanks Stop for telling that. us. Your secret's out. <laughs> Alright. So, the ghouls here actually fail their reflex save. They aged it and died. <laughs> they aged it and died. <laughs> I don't know if the other one was in. I hope the other one was within reach. Do we hear three bodies drop? Flat, cook, fry. Can't hear shit over that fireball low roar. But what you're looking at are two uh, very deceased ghoul corpses. Redeaded. Redeaded. Uh. Ryra literally uh, took like two steps forward, uh, saw a ghoul, and went. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like three just got wiped off the turn order. So, uh -huh. hmm, I, I I sense the presence of three ghouls has just left the vicinity. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> you got experience for you know how much experience one ghoul gives you, but you got enough for three. I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm sorry, guys. I panicked. No, 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 fine. that's that's fine. Panic more if I, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Lori I... doesn't even see what's going on. There's like uh four people in her way. She didn't even know there were ghouls. Mm -hmm. She just saw, she just saw Ryra take a step forward and go. Hua! I've never been more attracted to you stop. than right now. Yeah, the hissing does not stop, unfortunately. Uh, Agnor, please stop being weird. As you hear more coming in from the cave. Nah, please keep it going. That's not Jack, no. <laughs> or that's not that's not Ignore. He's not hissing. Hey, wait a minute. No, I was talking about his comment. Oh, I thought you were implying that Ignore was the one hissing, and you're like, no, I was talking about got his a comment. three. Uh, eat shit, loser. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, no. there's so many of them. Hey. I told you, the hissing continues. It's in the cave. No! Uh, I should have waited. It's alright. Now I gotta figure out where to go. Damn it all. Good luck, friend. Dive in the cave, I guess. Worst case scenario, we all die, and then we're good. Not your problems anymore. 
Well, the campaign becomes fun when we all become ghouls. <laughs> you know, I'll be bullshit. Why does Phrasma take pity on you fuckers? I'll be the ghoul <laughs> with a cool looking hat. Congrats, you just started an undead campaign. Woo! Enjoy. Now you guys have to learn all the undead immunities. Oh. Like cold. That's, that's too far. Have fun, I'm way, way far away from everybody that scares me. A party of undead heroes go to take on the final bosses of Rune Lords. <clears throat> Sucks for you, you're a fucking cleric. You've got positive energy. <laughs> I channel positive right. owl. You're a walking That's... CPK. <laughs> Here, guys, I'll heal us. We all fall down and crumble. All right, that's that's me. Um, it's my, I'm done. All right, motor car. Bro, who Man, looks like he's stuck in a wall? Five, <laughs> ten, fifteen. Yo, no fucking ghouls yet. Where are they at? That's what I'm. That's why I was scared that I was so far away from everybody and didn't see anything. You can hear 20, him coming down from further into the tunnel. Twenty-five. Damn it! I'm just going all the way in. I'm pissed. Poor I could have gone further, but I didn't want to go. I didn't want to go that far without everybody. Thirty. I'm moving in thirty feet. Mm. Do you see anything? Nothing yet, and I'm really annoyed by that. Can't see anything around that corner though. Yeah, that's why I didn't go. I could have gone in ten four. I could have gone where you're at, but I stopped right where I was. So I'm gonna move up, and as I'm moving up, I'm gonna just launch the the torch at this back wall. Is this? Launch it at this back wall and pull out my uh, shield. Hmm. <laughs> By the way, our two torch people are in the front, so pretty sure Lori's just Wait in the for me! <laughs> the dark. I have a dark vision. At least, dim, at least dim light. Yeah, so it's dim for me. That did nothing for light. I will stand defensively. Shouldn't that have lit things up? Yeah, but it's out of our viewing angle. Oh, yeah. All right. So you've taken a defensive stance as well? Yes. Is that a thing you can do as a free action? Uh, it's a standard action, isn't it? Mm. I don't remember its action economy. Because you threw your torch, got your shield out. <laughs> he did it all, all one smooth. The, uh, torch through the, the, through the, the torch, torch grab the shield. It's a very elaborate drop action, that's all. Uh, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> no, I'm done. Let's see where these ghouls come from. If they don't come from this tunnel, then I'm gonna look pretty dumb standing here waiting for them. <laughs> right? <laughs> They're yeah, behind you your, us! <laughs> you left your, your squishies back there with Lori. <laughs> and the other ghouls. All right. So your intuition was correct, Mudakar. As you see, a ghoul move out into the light. Uh, and it's going to step right next to the torch and stomp it. Uh. Yeah, that's not yours. If a ghoul could respond to that, it, it probably wouldn't do so nicely. Yours is just a regular torch, right? Jackman's got the ever-burning torch. Yeah, mine I have is that a regular burning. torch. Yep. I hope it catches fire too, stepping on it. It, it looks a little paint. <laughs> a wee bit. But now the torch has been stomped out. Stupid blue idiot stomping on my torch. I hate that they're blue. That's why you're it's the blue man. I'm not. Come on now. All right, Agnor, you're up, sir. I am. Shit, he's moving. That is not. Damn. 
he's super far away. 20 games to you get hit with positive energy, ghoul. Have some positive reinforcement. Yo. I might be able to kill him before you can pull anything out. We'll see. Hmm. My torch. All right, so out the fire behind its eyes. All right, I'm gonna move thirty feet. I can just see the one. I guess gonna call That's up. All we there... can see. Okay. Is there just one motor car? There's more than one. All I can see is one at the moment. Um. He's got bad manners. He's going to. To pull out a bow, what type of action is that? You can pull out weapons if you have a bab of one during a move action. I do. Since you moved, you could have pulled your bow out at the same time for nothing extra. And then he's going to fire a bolt at this dude. Or your bow shoots bolts. Arrow? Cor no. Uh, okay. Arrow. Gotcha. He has such a tight and small bow string that it shoots bolts. So then 30, God. so wow, 26 okay. and 10 damage. All right. Jeez. That was a really, that was a really good roll <laughs> on good both roll. ends. Yeah, that is definitely a hit. I never hit Yo. those things on Dalton, son of a bitch. 26 and 10. Arrow moves right through this thing, and you can hear it blink off the uh, the cave wall behind it. Smooth entry and exit. Ooh. All right, Lori, what you got? Hmm. It's a five, ten, fifteen is basically all I can get to. Because Ryro would be standing in my tw twentieth spot. You could use your full action to move forty feet. Yeah, that I know. Might be interest. Mm. Yeah. Five. Ten. Go Fifteen. Uh, go. Ah. There we go. There will be my twenty up in that corner. Yeah. And uh, I would say since since Motocar gave me that pick, I would uh have my warhammer on my side and the pick in the in my hand and uh, as i'm moving i'm going to pull out my uh shield making my ac uh with my stunning barrier a nice pretty 20. Ooh. okay sounds good and I'll, uh, as I'm moving by Ryra, I'm just like, make sure you stay behind me, hun, please. She's gonna give you a short nod. So, All right, that'll be it. Dalton is your... Uh-oh! You got me mixed up there, buddy. I'm sorry. Well, I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> uh, let's see, Bompton. <laughs> as you arrow this first ghoul, stomping out a torch. Another one slinks around the corner and begins making its way towards Motocar. Since he went to use the restroom, that's basically a free pass for me to kill him. <laughs> oh no! So, do so these ghouls like think they have like intelligence? They're not like zombies. They're, They're just like undead-ish. They so, are... Like, Like the fact that he's stomping out a, a a torch, yeah, makes it seem zombies. like they at least have 
zombies are mindless and just kind of <laughs> nothing. Yeah. Ghouls have some semblance of instincts. Gotcha. So they're not help. They can even sometimes be like quote unquote civilized hmm. with their own weird culture. I guess you could call it. But you ghoul know, chair. Ghoul chair. People tend to put ghouls down before that can that can happen. Yeah. They're like the undead version of goblins. He's back. <laughs> that works. Yeah. Hey, Motocar, you, you almost just died, buddy. Are you uh, what else is new? Yo. All right. You you don't get bit because this school rolled a seven. Uh, <laughs> dummy. And that's it for its turn. Hope it's ready to die. Hey, Ryra. It's your turn. Um, right here, and I'm gonna throw out an aggressive thundercloud, and it's gonna Please. pop up right on top of this boy. Krakow. Storms are brewing, Annie. Aggressive thundercloud. Krakow. That's a new spell. Yeah. I just haven't used it before. So... That's a new to us spell. <laughs> Perfect maneuverability. That bitch is that bitch is Tokyo drifting. I don't like the sound of that. Perfect maneuverability in a cloud. It's like we're Mario Lakitu cloud riding. Yeah. Uh, let's see. This sounds kind of similar to, like, Flaming Sphere, almost. It mm -hmm. literally is Flaming Sphere, but with electricity. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's cool. Neat. So this, <laughs> yeah, this guy needs to make a, a reflex save, huh? Uh, and that's with the increased uh, thing, too? Yeah, I think so. Well, if it's not, it doesn't matter because he fails. It takes and full. 15's a 15. really nice, hey. nice number there. Hey, easy, easy. Yikes! Roll three d6. Easy, girl. Yeah. However, be careful of that. It does seem to provide concealment to anything that's over. Sent miss chance. Cool. Uh, so. This thundercloud moves over and begins shocking the shit out of this ghoul, uh, rendering it a rotten pile of meat on the floor. To be fair, Ryra hasn't had much of a chance to do anything until now. <laughs> you killed three ghouls at once. Terrifying. Like so I said, until we got down here, she didn't have a chance to do much. Uh, I've also never really played a spellcaster before, so I'm a, like trying. I, I'm really weird about using my spells. I'm just like, but what if I need this later and I never do? And that's the hard part. Yep. You don't want to run out of spells the worst time. But shit, this thing lasts for another five rounds. Uh, yeah, that's why I used it. Also, I have, I can use five level two spells, so I'm good. Yeah. At level, down. what are we? Five, six. Six. Mm -hmm. oh. I get, I get extra evocation. Like I get a free extra evocation slot or two. Just gotta manage your your resources. That's why I didn't throw a bomb at that one d dude. Because I'm running low on him. Now when all these bitches group up. <laughs> oh like yeah. What's happening? Just like that. I Agnar's licking his lips. Is there like rushing in? I like how neatly they're all lined up. Yes, but now we're gonna come to a part where the melee is gonna have issues, just like wow, right now. Wow. Okay. So my aggressive thunder is gonna so do 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 do. Oh, just line. kind of go down the line, yeah. <laughs> uh, if only I took a, if there's like a fire attack that goes in a straight line, it would have hit Jackno and uh, what occurred though, and, and I didn't I didn't learn it, but I thought about it. 
It's a nice little barbershop quartet they've got going on. Hmm. Jack, now you could easily acrobatic your way through there. Yeah, but I'm going to block motor car. Well, it's fine. technically no you could stand here, I think. I'll let you know a little spoiler alert. I have no intentions on walking in there. With four ghouls. Well, three I've never mentioned, Eric, how much I hate maps that carve out, like, spaces for, like, your yeah, character. Yeah, like is this yeah, a space can... that we can that we can stand yeah, in? Yeah, can he can we technically stand next to each other? Mm. Well, I you're in the cloud right now. I think that'll work. He's just passing through it. Yeah. yeah. You can get there. Yeah, would I technically be able to stand next to Motocar or should I stand in the cloud? Well, the cloud stops when it enters a space that contains a creature, and it will deal damage to that creature. And so it will it deal damage to me if I go into it? Yes. Like yeah. I'm saying, it will deal damage to that creature, and then it will stop. So what I would I move through? Shit. Would I be able to stop here? Is that is that enough space for the two of us? The damage has already been dealt. The cloud okay. is inert. You can move through it, he's saying. So oh, you could, okay. you could come here. And if you stand on where the cloud's at, like you are now, it gives you concealment. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Hmm. But it does not shock you. It is, but it's shock. Okay. All right. Um, and then once you completely obliterate this guy, then Motocar can frog jump you and get into the next space. Just go right down the line. Yeah. Like dominoes. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go into boar stance and attack, punch this guy in right in the nose. Divorce that Schnoz. guy. Can you if you've already moved? I can punch him once. Okay. He, he can still do his stances, just can't do any full yeah, I, Yeah, I can't do two over. attacks. That works. 24 is going to hit. We really need to get you just a single attack macro setup. Yeah, I could probably just do another unarmed attack and just don't add the second attack. Yeah. But hand damage right to this thing's face as it practically comes to a stop in front of this thundercloud. Out of the smoke and crackling electricity, just a fist just... Solid. But not quite enough to put it down for good. Motocar. What do you go to? I'm going to do a big flash of holy magic and do a gentle energy in a 30 foot radius. Gentle energy? Holy shit. Oh, definitely includes all of them. Everybody is included on it. Solid. Now, they do get a will save for it to have the damage. Which, in their case, it is 14 to beat. Is it going to affect us? Yeah, but it's channel it's energy is positive energy. Okay. So for all of us, it heals. For them, it burns. Yeah, Pathfinder doesn't really do, like, necrotic and radiant stuff. It's either positive or negative. Positive is good for living, bad for the undead. And vice versa with negative. Okay. Which will be three D sixes of damage, so I'll just roll that wow. for you. How you often can you do good. that? Uh about five or six times a day. What? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Good old clerics. So it will save? Yep. Cool. And you can have it. That's rough on the rolling there, buddy. It is, but hey, everyone heals for five if you're damaged. What's the uh, DC? Fourteen. 14. All right. Um, never mind. So that is... You got to work on your DCs there, Motocar. I got to raise my charisma score. Oh, clerics are based off charisma? Uh-huh. Yep. What? Wisdom for certain things, but charisma for the DCs. 
aye, for aye. my uh, all right, motor car uh, channeling lap. So you absolutely <clears throat> fry the frontmost and back uh, ghouls in wholly positive energy. Uh, the one in the middle is taking uh, damage from this, but mm -hmm. not enough. And everyone else feels this very refreshing rejuvenation flow over them. The one in the back got holy from the arrow as well. Hmm. Double holy. Thanks, Moti. I appreciate it. Anytime. Which will bring us over to Eggmore. No point in using a bomb now. No, save it for me. I'm kidding. Uh, did you want me to? No. Um, but I might do something fun. How hurt does this guy look? Well, as far as an undead monster goes, not very. <laughs> um, I am going to... Just for the fun of it. I'm going to, um... Sorry, I'm going to make sure that I'm doing this right. I don't want Eric to yell at me. Oh, this rate, I'm going to yell at you for taking too long. Yeah, sorry. So as a move action, I'm going to... You're going to see me um, basically tie and fashion a uh, alchemist fire to one of my arrows. And I'm going to shoot with... Uh, that alchemist fire arrow at that last one. Gotcha. And I do remember. Ooh, I do remember number two tonight. Talking about this with you before, but isn't that an ability that you have that lets you do that? So it's a yeah, it's alchemical weapon. That's right. I can infuse a weapon or piece of ammunition with a single harmful alchemical powder or liquid okay. as a move action. Um, any extra damage added is treated like bonus things of damage. It's not doubled on a critical hit. Um, yeah, so it just does both. Uh, that is a critical hit and confirmation. So Success. that'd be plus eight. So that would be 15, 15. plus eight. <laughs> Whistles and as it goes through the air and boom. Yeah, and if he's still alive, um, he can't. He's on fire. Gotcha. <clears throat> so percentages are in your favor since you are firing through that lightning cloud. Or oh, is it right. inside the lightning cloud? Ooh, I thought it was. I thought it was in. Yeah, within. Alright. Oh, and it eliminates the area too. How cute. So that's a twenty eight to hit. Does the the plus one from point blank go to the crit confirm as well? Uh you would roll like if we were rolling normally. You roll the crit confirm with the same modifiers as you did the original attack. Oh so cool. Yes. So we're working okay. with a twenty or a nineteen. 19 and then 16 damage and then I don't think would the point blank affect the damage um I doubt it since yeah let's not, it, that's yeah we won't do that all right uh, that is so 24 points of damage yeah he's dead over half or one and a half times the amount of damage required to eliminate this poor, poor soul as he's recovering from the positive energy. Next thing he sees, last thing he sees is... Oh, you wanted to say it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, uh, so <laughs> last thing he sees is this, like, if it was like a movie thing, he'd see like this, this arrow kind of coming at him and he like focuses past the arrow and you just see Agnar's smiling face with like this weird like eyebrow up 
and then like it refocuses on this little bottle right when the arrow goes through its left eye and the bottle splashes on the right side of its face and just engulfs it in like napalm and if the arrow didn't almost instantly kill him the body Hmm. being coated in this alchemist fire definitely would have and he just slumps over on fire yeah he's dead he did his shit yeah, I guess this is a little overkill, but and I used a bunch of stuff, but I thought it was fun. Yeah, but you and I both got crits and confirmed tonight, so that's fantastic. We we broke the uh, crit confirm seal tonight. Yes, we did. <laughs> <laughs> Already in book two or book three? I don't remember. Yeah. Two. Yeah. So I tried adding another attack, and it's automatically adding two. So I might have to just click the... You can uncheck the damage. It, there's, there, there, it automatically adds to attacks. I, there's nothing to uncheck. You press the little cog wheel? I, I specifically... We can, we can fix it later. Yeah. It's only adding two attacks because you have a bab of uh yeah six so it's giving you the plus five normal bab plus one and adding your strength onto it so when you roll an attack you just want to hit your plus nine rather than your plus four yeah i just hit the plus nine yeah yeah Otherwise, i can't hit the just a unarmed yeah yeah well, well but with that I think is a good place for us to stop for the night. No! We got another hour. Let's go. Uh, for you. <laughs> yeah. Gonna level up, yeah. Time travel bullshit's not going to work on me. <laughs> I, I think I kind of agree with Michael. I think it's time for another level up. No, no I just want to play more. There's one more ghoul. Oh, never mind. I'll say there's one more ghoul on the turn order already. This one who just died. He's fucking dead. Fucking dead. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Nice combat. You guys are handling things really well. They are undead, so we can clear through them pretty well. Yep. And you guys were afraid. Oh, DM, don't kill us, please. Please, DM, Sama. Fireball. You guys could have done this last week without me. Yeah, you never know. How you used be. a fireball to take out three at once. You guys would have been fine. Yeah, but you were also we would also be missing someone that's integral to the part of the story. Yeah, that's the main reason why we met. We wait, waited. <laughs> Sorry. No apologies necessary. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, two weeks from now, I will pro. I will be here. Um. Okay. I got invited to like a pierogi making party at my uncle's house. Neat. Yeah, and You're inviting uh, all I don't, of us, right? I'm not really sure what time they're starting, but I'm pretty sure we'll be home by like. I hope to God we are not there until eight. That would be crazy. It shouldn't take that long. But if I am going to be late, I will let you know. But I should be on time. I totally want to go because I love pierogies. We are a Polish family, so uh, I this happens pierogies. at least like once a year. <laughs> pierogies are awesome. Mm, that makes me. You know what's really good? Pierogies on the bottom. You put some chili on top. I know it sounds weird, but don't knock it to the That sounds dry. really oh, weird. Huh? Don't knock I it know, to I the like dry. My per- I like my pierogies with sour cream. No, no, and what's great with sour cream? Chili. Just try it and Jeez. let me know, okay? Yeah. So my schedule isn't out f- or isn't out. For next week, so I have no idea if I'm going to be working. But even if I am working, I'll still be in here. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, man. What a nice return to form for you guys. Mm. Yeah. My cacophony of minions. Well, that's what you <laughs> get for ha- having us have some breaks. We got uh, our crits all lined up. Yeah. Of course. The stars aligned, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, what was that? 
two crits for me tonight. Only one confirmed, though. I just wish that crit was on something that was a little more than just a half-dead ghoul. <laughs> Super neat. Half-dead, undead. Works. The, the dice work in mysterious ways. Michael, and that was yes, an expensive but, kill. With, uh, Daniel. But, but we got to confirm, huh? John. We got what to confirm. Happened with Daniel here? Like he crit confirmed a shocking grasp on the god or ghoul? I believe so, yeah. I think he did. That was I a, popped a, out and everything. Yeah. That was a that was a twenty gold kill right there. Twenty <laughs> twenty something gold. Not counting yeah. you know, counting the arrow. But that's, that was the first time we could use that ability, so that was fun. Yeah. That's kinda why I like playing Jekno is it's just, just beats and hands. Pins. Yeah, I don't have to worry about repairs or I do have also, which could be fun and I've never used it, but a um, hybrid hybridization hybridization funnel. So I can mix like two different alchemical things. So like acid and alchemist fire together into one vial. Then I can use that one vial on an arrow. It just can get nutty, but it's it's requires some setup. Very odd. We'll see how things play out. It seems scary. Yeah. Killed some bats and some ghouls. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Well, thank you, fellas, for playing another yeah, game of Pathfinder. It's always fun. Even yeah. When it isn't. Even when there's death. Um, Kaylee, uh, you have, um, mage armor, right? Yeah, it's still up. It lasts six hours, and so do, it's on you, too. Okay. So, it should still be up, because I put that on. Oh, yeah, not yeah. Okay. Last six hours. You have not been here for six hours. No. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. If we had been, I'd kill myself. Yeah, I don't think you guys could handle being in the house for, like, maybe two hours. Maximum. Yeah, I think we'd all go nuts. Funny enough, the book accounts for people that sleep there. <laughs> God, it's, it's late. We might as well sleep in a haunted mansion. You would love that shit. I'd walk outside and sleep outside in the the water than before no that house. The same person is going to sleep in this fucking house. Yeah, we found a bed with, like, less mold on it than the others. Yeah, good enough for me. I call that one dibs. <laughs> <laughs> I want the room with the bloody desk in it. I was just about uh, to say that. Man. I, I want the, the room that's got that closed door with all the extra food. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. I'm going to sleep in Aisha's room. Yeah, you did love dancing with her. Might as well spend the night there while I'm at it. Ooh, woo. she'll be back. It's not going to be like that Ghostbusters scene. I hate to make it for you. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> it's not. It's not going to happen. Well, right. she is kind of, isn't she? Wait, no. Who's the who's the the crazy chick that dug through the floor? Aisha. Aisha. Yeah, that is Aisha, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Which is kind of strange. There's like a vision ghost apparition and then there's also the physical yeah. physical form yeah which I'm not sure if you guys recognized exactly what she was or not like obviously she's undead but more specifically I don't think any of us did well I know but my character doesn't yeah, yeah. and she nah not a banshee Wraith? No. Mm -mm. Mm. There's a special type of undead that has a very singular goal. Oh. Oh, shit. I, he walked I, right past you guys. Yeah, I know. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know it, but I can't think of it. 
Damn, there was a movie that came out named that not too long ago. A few years back. It starred that feller from Titanic. He ate a real fish. He crawled around on his back for a long time. <laughs> he had maggots on his back. A revenant? Yeah. Yo. Yeah. That's the mm. movie. And also that was a good movie, though, by the way. Yeah. Revenants are extremely vengeful spirits. It's all they are. Too angry to die. I'm gonna make a Doom Guy Revenant. Doom Guy is a Revenant. <laughs> Every demon. <laughs> Rip and tear until it's finished. Oh, there's more demons. I wake. It's not finished. <laughs> Real shit. His revenant perimeters reset. More demons to kill. There, there has to be like an edit of the the Squidward waking up. <laughs> shit. Future. Let's see. It's gotta be like, like Squidward's eyes opening up with a Doom helmet visor around it or something. It's gotta be. Fine. I'll make it myself. Oh wait, well, this is this kinda works, I guess. Just put in general. Thank you, Mike. Welcome. I guess that kinda works. <laughs> <laughs> I love the MS Pate turning his eyes on. <laughs> well, I'm gonna sign off of stream if everyone wants to say good night. Night, yeah, good night. Bye, guys. Come back next week for more bullshit. Yeah. Like yeah. But thank you, everyone, for joining us for another uh, wonderful session of uh, Rise of the Rune Lords. I'll be looking forward to seeing you guys next time. Good night.